And welcome everyone, this is the Unger Down Under, week number five, we've just passed the halfway mark. My name is Castle 9 thank you for joining us on a very sleepy Sunday. With me is Nez, how are you? Yeah, good, bit tired, but um, ready to watch some Street Fighter. It's been a I while. I feel like this is going to be a very relaxed cast today. I don't want to raise yeah. my voice, don't want to strain myself too much. <laughs> and it's just going to be a nice time. I accidentally put the coffee in view, that was fine. <laughs> We're doing good off the start of the show. Let me get the old bracket up, and in the meantime, why don't you go over our sponsors? So, very big thank you to w Team WP, and of course to CCH in Melbourne, and a very big thank you to our main sponsor for this season, Genuine Gaming. It's a big thank you to them for uh, increasing the prize pool for us for this season. So it's been very lovely to have them on board. I know Royce personally, and it's... um. He's a very nice person in real life. So, uh... It's funny that, because I don't think he... When he first made Genuine Gaming the team, I don't think he fully knew what the FGC was about. He was familiar with the other esports. So, I think GG had CSGO and League and all those other teams at the time. Yeah. And now he's, like, deeply embedded into it. I think, um... Maybe Yusuf has something to do with that as well. But it's been fantastic to have him in the community. Yeah, that happens with a lot of organizations, I feel. I don't feel there's too many that sprout from fighting games and then go elsewhere. It's more so they come from elsewhere and then kind of stick around, you yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, it's nice to see things like that. So it looks like we're going to have Goldilock and Demon Eye as our first two. Oh, should be What's a mirror. Who did, oh, is, it, is Demon Eye Akuma? I wasn't actually sure. He was. I don't know if he is anymore, but he definitely was. I can tell you that for sure. Okay. It's been a while since I've seen him play. But yeah. Goldilock, of course. Premier Akuma. Also plays other Shotos, but I think Akuma is still pretty much his main character. Yeah, he used to be a Ken. Um, a little bit. He used to be a Ken? Kind I feel of. like the Ken was a phase. Like a lot of players. He, yeah, he was originally Akuma and then it, a bit of Ken, but also mostly Akuma. What do you think of Ken's changes for this season? Or this, um, this past patch that came? Because I know I, a lot of people were trying to jump back. Yeah. Like Shen was a little bit excited. BK was trying to convince everyone. He's Not successfully. Like, um, Ken has this thing where he. I think he's always been, except for season one. He was good season one, but um, yeah. other than that, he has this thing where he's bad, but he kind of he can kind of get a good snowball going on you. Um, it's not as good as other characters' snowballs. I think that's always yeah. been a problem. Yeah, but he's just like he'll back throw you half screen into the corner, and then you'll be guessing, and he'll have his overhead fake, overhead low fake, and then that goes back into itself, and he's got all this stuff where it's like, it can feel like he robs you pretty bad sometimes, even though there are a lot of characters that rob you a lot worse, and people, I feel like that's what's happened recently, is people it's are like, oh man, time. this Ken just destroyed me with this sequence, and, you but I feel like his can... neutral is still pretty, pretty damn bad. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, that's what, one of the changes that Heavy Kick CC was supposed to change. I was supposed to make it better. So you could have the extra damage that V-Skill 2 gave you without sacrificing the neutral that V-Skill 1 gave you. Yeah. But I, I don't know how successful that is. Old, um, I think a lot of it's in the fireball. His fireball is just, just trash compared to, compared to other knockdown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the lack of knockdown even on EX is just like, that's bad. That's like, what, that's one of the most underrated parts of Akuma's kit is the fact that his fireballs can knock down close without spending meter. And Ryu has the EX to knock down, and it's really important. Those are like the most important parts of those fireballs. And Ken can't even do it with Sven, so it's kind of iffy. And of course his buttons, he, his, his kind of buffers are pretty bad. Um, his frame traps not great. No, like kind of so, ends suddenly. Yeah, he has a lot of very noticeable flaws, 
And there's good stuff to him. Like I said, he, he has very good snowball once he gets control. And his super leads into Oki and this and that. But I wouldn't put him in top 10. I mean, that's the most I'd say. Mm, that's fair enough. So we did see Demon Eye on the character selection. Thing. We had Poison as a party card. I don't know if that's going to continue. Yeah. It is. Okay. Okay. I don't think this is bad. I think it's good for Poison, maybe. I think she can do a lot of kind of weird stuff to annoy me, but I guess we'll see. Oh, leave the quarter early. Oh. Or a poison did get nerfed. Um, Slightly, yeah. This thing. Crazy combos and her range on her fire distance combos. Not as good. I like a very something good character. Definitely has to be careful. Is that true? Really the great health builds up extremely quickly on low health characters. Yep. You get hit poison by one of those Molotov yeah. combos. Oh, you're pretty much dead. With Poison especially having a lot of ways to trap a lot of damage. Kind of like Sim. In that way. It doesn't matter! Gold is going to be the first game in there. Yeah. Round two. Very nice, nice control. And she can trade good with Fireball damage. You know. Whip trades with pretty much any Fireball in this game is... Advantageous Doesn't quite convert off the jump cross up. Whip and a jump. I never know about those overheads. If they're still in the one, you know what I mean? Mm. I feel like they're always in good areas. Like, like walk forward, ready punch. It's pretty yeah. common, especially for a human that needs to poke. Just a low whip. Final round. Demon Eye. Listen good there. I was gonna say, maybe Demon Eye has to win this kind of slowly. The lead gets away from him. I think it's a lot harder for him to make a comeback and it is for Goldie. Oh, that's big. One for some. Mix up. Oh, oh block the instant overhead. Block. No punish that though. Was impressive. Nice. Punish for those don't come every day. You're very ready for it. Oh, that's pretty big. Good big shift. Yeah. I the combo there, I guess. I guess that was supposed to have actually I definitely been don't think it was a reset, away. so I would say it was probably closer to missing the combo. Yeah. Unfortunately. But well played. Demon has improved a lot since I last saw them, actually. And Goldie's still Goldie. Very, very good. Got very good very quickly. Because Goldie one. was definitely one of the fastest people to go through fledglings. And then enter that next tier up. A lot of people find that transition really difficult. Yeah, no, Goldie, um, I remember I played him when he first started playing the game. Like, even when he didn't be playing a week next to And he's the only player, because I play a lot of new players back then at least. And he was the only player I ever was like, yeah, this guy's gonna be really good. He could be like a top Australian player for sure. And like, very quickly. You can just tell. Nice. I don't think that's done either. Still one to go. Go for low this time. Leashes doesn't help. Yeah, that's one of the uh, interesting parts about this just compared to the reversal is that it does not take away a stun. I think it only takes away stun once you get to the break part. Yeah. But you're not always guaranteed to get that. Oh, that hurts. Oh, again, stuns build up in 10 seconds. That's oh, bad, bad confirmed. Oh, no, no punish though. That was unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right now. Boom. Oh, very clean. Yep, taking our first set. Very clean. Oh, cool. That's a good way to start off. He's got a first gen next though, so that's probably not going to be that fun. Mm -hmm. That'd actually be good to watch. Is that one of the ones we're actually going to No, have I don't think so. I think we're going to oh, see damn. Shen. I think Shen's camera shy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be very fun to watch. I love the old weird Shoto matchup. Although, who knows? Even if you played Lucio, it'd be interesting. Shen can't play Lucio? 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind that. <laughs> I. Lucia's DP should be air fireball, which kind of makes it kind of a cool matchup. Yeah. So I don't think it's that. Also, slide sliding under stuff is pretty fun. Yeah, it so is. it's not it's not the hardest thing that Lucia can can face. Definitely. Yeah. I don't know if Shen plays that dangerously, but I definitely do. So it looks like we're gonna have Felscribe and Mecha JT. Both of these guys actually, I think, uh, very regular players in fledglings. Um, from what I remember, Mecha plays Vega slash Balrog, and Fel obviously going along cool with the Gil army. Oh wait, Gil, that's right, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's one of the, the disciples. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> one of Lama's druids. There's a weird cult that goes on with Gil players, I swear. I don't know where it came from or where it began. It's the Illuminati. <laughs> it's Gil Illuminati, it's just like in the story mode. I love it. I love Gil. He's my favorite character in this game to like in terms of gameplay. Really? Yeah. I don't play him, but I we I wish I did. <laughs> yeah, I think he's awesome. I, I yeah, he is. It's funny though, because I I almost see very specifically I see Gil VT2 as like the new Alex Twitter clip. Every yeah. time I went on Twitter, I always see like some setup and all of a sudden, ooh, Gil's so good now. And then no one plays VT2 <laughs> in tournament, ever. I know, I know. I love that V-Trigger though, I wish they did. I like it a lot more than uh, the one. I mean, all That's the highlights sure. make it look so viable and then no one runs it. Cause I guess we don't see all the things that it can't do. So yep. it's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of pointless, so. Yeah. I think it's because a lot of it's easy mix-ups, like easy to set up and more universal. It, you just backdash out and it kind of mm. messes them up a bit. Like you, there is answers to the backdash, but it, it gets a bit too... Like the only way it works is if you just think about blocking and that's about it. Maybe that's, maybe that's it. But there might be really, an really easy answers out of it. Yeah. There you go, a couple of guys in the chat saying V-Shift especially. Oh yeah, yeah, V-Shift would really... Yeah, I didn't even think of that. I was thinking like last season, but yeah. It hurts. Here we go, the two in the lobby now. I know Mecha JD was kind of in a character crisis mode a little bit. Mm -hmm. Kind of finding, especially when you're around uh, bronze area, you kind of don't know what character. It's like, it's it's that spot where I don't think it's too early to switch if you really want to, because you're not too far into the game, so it's kind of okay. Yeah. The only thing you don't want to do is keep switching to this. try and fix problems. Yeah, I think so as well. I think I think Mecha's still trying to find what character probably suits me. So I'd be interested to see what he wants to go with this game. I think his Vega is technically better, but he seems to like Melrock's gameplay a little bit more. It is gonna be Vega, okay. Uh Gil I think Gil does very good in this matchup. Well, it, it depends. Is there a lot of things to parry? I don't think there's that much, is there? Well, you can parry to wall dive, but I honestly think a good Vega is not gonna. No, they're probably not gonna just do wall that. dive. It will because yeah. I think I think every character can actually deal with wall dive easily. Um, I don't think it's a good move to throw at a neutral at all. But it's not. Yeah, it's not like previous games. No, nope. it's not like ST. <laughs> that would be everyone would be playing Vega if it was like that. It's not like I, didn't, I didn't hear anything. Reverse. Yeah, I didn't hear much about Vega ST until I saw. I think it was the clip of Takedo, and he just did it. Over, I can't even remember who he was versing, but he was just doing wall dive over and over again. And Seth Killian was going, "Oh, dirty, dirty yep. Takedo." Yep. He he yeah he used to be the dirt master. He was the one that really oh. pioneered. Urian in third strike. What you must seek. Because no one really fought much of Urian in third strike. Mm -hmm. And then Takedo came, I think it was an Evo, he just came out and he's doing all this mirror shit that's just insane, like all these unblockables people have never seen, and everyone's like, holy crap, this character. Like how aggressive man is starting with this place especially. Probably what you need to do. I don't think waiting around for Felscribes to do something is probably the way to go, so... Oh, you can punish that. I mean, even at far range, you can punish that, but that was such a close, um... Yeah. 
I think the general rule is if, if Vega's hand is touching your body, you're definitely going it, it takes a long time for it to retract back. Yep, it has a very link rate. Oh, nice. Hell Scribe. Oh, oh, oh missed the big God. retribution. Definitely doesn't cost him. It won't. It is time. Round two. Fight. Cryo Kinesis. Cryo Kinesis. Oddly enough, I think he's playing more zoning than there is at the moment. You can punish that. Just go for a jab punish if you're worried about the uh, frame. Crashing. Yeah, I think crashing is some shit rage. Even jab into shoulder, even if it looks like it wouldn't reach, it'll reach. It'll catch that lingering. Oh, 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 okay. He's a too risky from Becca. He's found himself in the corner now. Nice, safe way to end the grab. All right. Gil wins. Round one. Fight. Pyro, can he? 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 What's the best way for Vega to try and deal with these fibers? Or the easiest way? Beast kill. Get to a good range and uh... Wow. Grab that beast kill. Oh, you can punish that. Oh. Mecha. I like the way he's walking at least, but it hasn't helped him a ton. Has been in claw for most of this game. Oh, that was a counting hit combo. But didn't happen a lot. Oh. oh, I don't know about Mech starting off. That jump in was good though. He just had to complete it. He's got the stun builds up pretty high. Could. Oh, he might have lost the initiative though. Ends it with the throw once more. Ow. I swear so many guilds go for that random tackle in neutral. That's how you know the descendants from the armor. <laughs> oh damn. Would have been cool if that combo were. They're a bit finicky those corner ones. Oh you can punch that big, yeah. Yeah, Mecha just missing a lot of punches, and the same can be said for Fel's as well with the, um... I can't believe I can't remember what the move's called before heavy punch. That's a specific thing. I don't think this is a matchup either of them should be too unfamiliar with. They do play each other pretty often. Yeah. Fel just gonna take it again with the low. Nice little run from him. Oh. Another 2 0 so far. It's go time. We will be moving on to face the winner of Shunkan and Goldilocks, which we will not be seeing, but. Someone's upset about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Llama, we will have him up next. Fighting Rumors. This is their first game for both of them. First game of the tournament. Yeah, I think they're only versing a... each other because Llama hasn't played in most of the previous weeks, so his uh... rank is quite low. Or he's yeah. seated quite lowly, so... I don't know who this benefits more. I'm guessing it's probably Llama, if anything. You never know. Llama matches are the hardest to predict the outcome of. It doesn't matter what player he's facing. <laughs> he could be facing a, like, platinum level player, or he could be facing, like, Travis Styles or someone. It's, it's the same 
<laughs> just just throw a dart at the board and go with that. So just update you on where the bracket is at right now. So Kachang took it over 2-0 over Big Slice before falling to Dank Scorpio. Somniac taking a 2-0 over Rainbow Chimp. Uh, those two will be facing off in the future round for the quarterfinals. Space Ghost and Final Blast will be on stream a little bit later on. And Professor taking a 2-0 over Craftmaster. So I don't think there have been too many upsets as of yet. Though this one should be a pretty close game. Yeah, this will be a good one. This is going to be our first big match. All right, so let's let's see. Let's put yourself in the mind of Lama. It's a mm. Sunday afternoon, so you've probably had three drinks down. Yeah, you're so in a normal state of mind. <laughs> it's calm. It's relaxing. This has got to be this is gonna be pretty good, right? I I feel good for Lama on this one. I I think my brain says rumors, but everything else I think says Lama. Just that feeling, that gut feeling. You know what I mean? We'll see that. Oh, Lum made a grand master. I didn't even know if he played ranked. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I don't see Lama as the grindy sort. That's why I'm kind of surprised by that. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. He usually has a lot going on, so I'm, I'm a bit surprised as well. like Big Slice is a little worried. I think he has to verse the loser of this match, which isn't... It's not really what you want, is it? Normally, your loser's bracket match is supposed to be easier, not harder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I've been there. Just waiting on rumors. Big thank you to everyone for joining us tonight. Uh, good to see everyone in the chat. Uh, how are you all? No, nah, never mind. Small talk's over. He's here. Uh, Too I bad. bad. You can tell me, tell me afterwards. <laughs> I'm a bit hungry, but I've been eating when the camera's off. <laughs> Actually, the three of us were talking about that a little bit before the stream. It was like, what do you do when you're trying to hide? Because I was trying to hide coffee earlier. <laughs> And Derek's probably eating right now because his mic's off. <laughs> yeah, no, I got, yeah, I got the setup. I got all sorts of little compartments. And the moment that camera goes off, it's like the bat cave. <laughs> Everything <laughs> comes out. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Would it not be surprised to see this match again somewhere down the line of this tournament? I mean, someone's going to make a big loser's bracket run. Yep. Uh, round one. Fight. I was going down. Oh, well. <laughs> Lama, of course, in the Spartan costume. Yeah, I love it. Nice! Oh, he makes that tackle so hard to punish correctly. Nice and safe from Rumors to start. Ooh. I love that idea, but... Okay, there you go. It's worked that time. Ooh! Oh, Rock's cool. still up! Where is it? There it oh, is! Oh, good block. He knew he had to stop early as well. Yep. Llama doesn't get a doesn't get a hit activate. Just has to go. Not quite close enough. Every other day, retribution. I think not close. He had to hit that back. Oh, that's that should be it. That should be it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. The sway just going Ooh. a little bit too slowly to catch. That was good. Oh, nice, nice job. Look at that as well, takes him to the corner, that is... I mean, I was deal. gonna say that it's 
not the most efficient way to use one bar, but if you had the corner, I guess it's probably good. Llama breaks himself out. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no! That has to be a miss. He's had a couple of miss inputs already. He's playing good outside of them, though. Ooh, he's behind. Rock helps! And the trade combo. <laughs> Slow rock. Nice! Almost a nice job. Yeah, I thought it was it. I would like. Oh, great! Oh. Lovely cancel. Very nice. That was a great round. Final Very round. quick. Fight. Dangerous. I'm wondering if Rumors wanted to cancel that heavy punch or something. Obviously, I don't think you're going to get it wrong. Maybe he just didn't have Zonk in time. Oh, oh no. Misinput. Miss input. Oh, that nice. combo. Wow. Good pick up. Surely, yes. Probably still needs oh. one more. Some damage. Oh. Llama with a lot to do. Again, it's a little bit unfortunate that he doesn't get an on hit activate. Just has to do a draw. It's running out of resources as well. That time is going down pretty quickly. I think he's looking for something to larry it into, but... I don't oh, think Rumors is going to give it to him. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of a, a fair few missing points in there. Um, but Rumors is so good in the... It's not the scramble. He's so good in like the uh, the pickups. You know what I mean? Of like situational kind of combos. Um, oh, right, right. Yeah. A, yeah, like those times you get little straight hits, but actually making the most of it when they happen. Yeah. yeah. Round yeah. One. Which is a trait that... Fight. You usually see most prominently in characters like Kill and Yuri. So I think he'd be very good at those characters as well if he put his time. I don't think he would um, stoop to that level. No, I don't think so either. They're not they're not his kind of characters, but he'd be very good at them. And speaking of Llama is that exact kind of player as well. Nice! Oh, Just boy. reaching for that punish. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, good back dash. Oh, that was shaky. Yeah, you couldn't follow that. Activate. Oh. Almost caught that. Yeah, and Lamar's looking. He's just a little bit too far. Oh, that should be good, though. This could be big damage. That corner carry. Can you want to say, hey, oh, he can. He just built it with that last shoulder. He's not going to kill. But he's not going to do a lot of damage. Not that I know of. Yeah. Oh. Pocket sand. Bad spray. Oh, that was the worst thing that could have happened. That had to have been a miss input. It is tough. Round two. I don't know what I'm saying. not wanting that. But... <laughs> Let me knee right back into it. Look at that. That was such a good pick up by Llama as well to recognize that he could get a crouch heavy punch to find his there. Wow! One way to interrupt the plus frame. Nice. I don't exactly Corner. know how Llama is spacing these tackles so well. Oh! On the other side. Sick. Normally when you play a character like Urian or something like that and you want to space a tackle, you need a string to set it up. And then Gil, Llama's Gil, just kind of does it just by eye. And I don't really get how he can do it all consistently. It's very rarely that he gets it wrong. Yeah, I think it's actually easier for Urian to space his tackles just in neutral. Um, at least when I played him. I think the, the Gil one is really hard to do. Um, so, it's really impressive. Not too much to do about that. It's pretty free. Both players have had several Ooh. games so far. So. We're seeing a lot of whiffing, but not a lot of action. I'm finally getting a shot in here. Oh! They both went big there. <laughs> they yeah. it. If someone went a little bit quicker, they might have got the initiative. Lamas is forcing him back a little bit. This will help. Oh, oh that, was really that was so weird. A little bit of delay from rumors on that sway. Yeah. 
Llamas could have got a huge punish there, but I do not blame him for not being ready for it because it was not a very conventional way of winning. Oh, it just looks like Llamas trying to burn tempo in his round. Yeah. Retribution, I think. Nuts one more. Lands oh, on it. Yeah. Ooh. Round two. Llama, on set point now. Yeah. Like I said, Llama, Modern, anyway, you never know what's gonna happen. Doesn't matter who he's playing against. Oh, I thought he was ready for that it's here. Nice. That didn't help Rumors that much though. Ooh, I love that. I love that. He does the hands on the wheel. I think that's my favorite uh, V shift break. I haven't seen many V breaks in those. Oh. Oh, this is bad. You're in the corner. Oh, yeah, can I hit? Bad. Yes, he can. Well, I'm guessing you're dead. What a scaling, though. Yeah. Guess. Ooh, I cannot no. believe that worked. No, 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 no. You can't get hit. Oh, oh he, it. he had it. Could have been it. He, he had it. That would have been first. into super. I feel like he wanted a button first. Final he wanted jab into shoulder into the super, but the jab whiffed. Even though it touched the uh, <laughs> the model of Cody, it was not close enough. Time to Which Llama is standing early to try and get the lead. I mean, yeah, he's, being, he's being, being okay in neutral, so having a life lead helps a lot. Because it's up to rumors now. God, I hope you don't crack him out. Because he knows that that was the whole set right there. Had he hit that punish that he was ready for, he just misspaced or mistimed. Well, because of this life lead, all he has to do is trade in neutral. He doesn't have to win it exactly. This is where danger begins. He's going to get... Oh, that would have been into EX. Uh-oh. That. Yep. That was good. Pace on the whip. Oh, no. Uh -oh. oh, you're lucky. This is a little bit loosey-goosey. Oh, that's high. It doesn't no. That will. You need to outlast that pipe without taking much more damage. You're taking That's damage. A lot of damage. You're taking too much damage. Oh, oh this is good. He needs one more. He needs one more. Meaty. Next hit wins. Next hit wins. That's oh. Oh, that should have been it. That should have been it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, Rumors. Just gets it with the low. That got way Cody too tight. Wins. That was a great game. Great set, I should say. Cool. Yeah, hopefully we see it again. Win inside, of course. So both players still in. Llama just down to uh, losers inside of the bracket. Time. Have fun, big slice. <laughs> <laughs> so. And oh, another really good game coming up. Space Ghost and Final Blast. A bit of Guile versus Guile Nash. Nash. Oh. Yeah, I like it. So just to update you on the bracket, it looks like Demon Eye took it 2-1 over Craftmaster, so he's still in the bracket. Kachang took it over Rainbow Chimp, he's going to be moving on. And Dank lost to Somniac in the mirror matchup. She drops down to loser's bracket as Som moves on to the top 8, I believe that is. Yep. Yeah, he's made a quick run of it there. Yeah, we got some good games coming up. So did Nash, did Nash oh, improve well. enough to contest Guile or not? I'm not sure. I don't quite understand the um The, the only one er Nash. anyone ever talks about is the Sobot kick. Yeah. That's the main one that people talk about, but I don't know if that's that how relevant is that in this matchup? Like I don't, I'm not exactly sure. I do know that I actually think this is a good matchup for Nash. Like, even at worst. Even like previous seasons? Yep. Okay. Like last season at least. I don't know about before that. But it, like, maybe when Guile was really good. Um, probably, probably good for Guile. But I've always heard that this is like a even at worst matchup for Nash. And that Nash is a pretty decent pick for fighting Guile, if you don't have a character that does well against Guile. The other thing that might be effective is that 3-frame from Nash actually works. Now, you can actually go into something without being too risky about it. So that might help a little bit, but I... I'm not super sure. Yeah. Like, I would want to say Nash is still the one that has to go in on Guile, rather than the other way around, but... 
No, he can he can kind of sit there and just V skill. You give me that. Oh yeah, that V skill might help a lot. His fireballs can definitely keep up as well. Mm. Uh, so he's got a lot going for him in terms of that. He doesn't have to feel pressured to. I, I guess it comes down to life lead, really. But on an equal, on equal ground, he isn't really pressured to be on the offensive. And sometimes, depending Round on one. how the guard plays, it can be on the ground to feel that pressure. Oh, that was dangerous, but I like it. Well, Final Blast going for Ooh. v skill 2. Very common for him to use now. Both these players are very naturally aggressive players in their playstyle, despite playing a lot. Well, yeah, archetypically the zoning type yeah. characters. Yeah. yeah. So. Ooh, Tom's a good chain. A good lead for Final Blast at the start. Nice backdash. Just to avoid that knee. Oh, got it! Yeah. And the activated bolt is taken to the corner. Yeah, this is how you want to start a comeback if you're ever going to make one. It's a dangerous tech from Final Blast, but... did end up being the right option. Just... Space Ghost has at least put him himself in a position where he can take it with the next CA. As long as he can get the hit, so that trigger did enough. I think Final oh. Blast has got to be picking CA somewhere. Yeah, do that. There you go. He just got his V trigger from doing that V skill. There you go. Oh, not oh. quite. Not Why quite fast enough. I don't understand. Oh, yeah, I guess it was the startup still, right? Don't do anything silly with that V trigger. Oh. oh. No. It can't be over. Good use of EX there. On Space Ghost. It's gotta be a little bit of a hard loss. He had such a good life lead at the start. Yeah. Sure. Nice the, jump. Uh, ooh, nice. Oh, that has a good deal. Yeah. Smart. That's a big dial. Ooh, that was really close. Yeah. He didn't think it was his turn yet. Mini fireball. Nice and safe to end. It can't be over. Space goes with a much more convincing second round. And he goes one up. Um, this is the benefit of playing a defensive character in an offensive way is your kind of go-to playstyle, is that when you're in a matchup where you kind of have to be offensive, which will be very few matchups, if your character really is a defensive character. Um, you can play like this and you're comfortable. So it makes your hard matchups a lot a lot easier. Easier, yeah. Ooh, almost with the counter hit combo. Good escape for final blast. Good pressure, but base goes always very good with his defense box. He hasn't very taken that much damage much from it, but yep. final blast is at least he's kept this corner. That's not a good jump though. Slowly losing the spacing that he had as the advantage. Probably really needs it. He's in that Sobot world though. Oh no. Can he get more from nice this? Punish. Oh, great wow. punish. Yeah, I was not expecting that to reach. This is where you play cool. Doing nothing is doing more than Only needs a I be doing something. Final Blast is going to be really careful at whiffing because a fireball into trigger is going to kill him. So he doesn't want to... He needs to make sure everything he does connects. That's... Yeah, yep. There was... Yeah. Right down. Like you said, doing nothing is stronger than doing something a lot of the time. And that was one of those situations where that killed on last one. Give him anything to react to, you're dead to super. Oh, I'm thinking about it now. Maybe that... Oh, that Final Blast probably good. should have been very aware of that was the uh, one of the only ways that he was going to lose that round. Yeah. It wasn't a... Yeah, it really wasn't worth taking. Let's put himself in a hard position. Ooh, almost a good jump. No. Nope. Ooh, wow. Base goes very good with the gaps. Probably played against all of the recruitment for a fireball. Plus, That's there plus. it is. He yeah. doesn't know. He doesn't know. Yeah. I don't blame him, not a lot of people do. I, I still mess it up. 
Yeah. Not the worst event here. Um, could have kept Oki. the corner, but you do get Oki off this regardless. But oh. that is very mean. And he might have been able to kill there. Uh, it was a light combo, so probably not. But... I think he could have done that. Oh, he could have done target into combo, trigger, Into and... V-Skill, into Flash Kick. Something like that. Again, we're in the same situation that he was yeah. before. He can't throw a fireball, and I think he knows it this time at least. More importantly, he needs to know that he does not need to. He has V skill to keep up. Yeah. I think he's getting scared. Oh! Almost in range. Oh, oh no, not again! Yeah. Not again! No, no. Call me once, shame on you. Call me twice. Just got tempted a little bit too much. Lessons were not learned. And Space Ghost is going to take it 2 0. Yeah. Good set. That was good to watch. It's go time. And let's see what we got up next. Oh, Inez. Oh, Shen and Goldie cool. haven't played yet. I don't know if that's on purpose. Yeah, I'm not I sure don't know if that's on up. purpose. I don't know if someone in the gods heard you <laughs> and he wanted you to see that game, but it is there. Yep. And it looks like it does have a slated to do another Space Ghost game, but I feel like we're probably doing Acidia Rumors first, I'd have to assume. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. Have a look. No one's saying anything in the admin chat. That's all right. Thank you again, everyone, for joining us. Oh, uh, Shenkan's oh. done. Whoop. <laughs> we can do that. Shenkan fell scribe. Oh, I just wasn't updated, is it? Oh, okay. Oh, 2-1. Oh, that would have been a good map. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> Get up the replay. I wonder who he played. Shenkan, that is. I like Kanokuma, to be honest. Because it's one of the few matchups where I think indistinguishably VT2 is good for Ken. Yeah. No, I agree. Um, I think VT2's. Uh, I've always thought it was pretty good, even before they busted. Um, matchup specific, but it's good in the matchups that it's good in, you know. Looks like it's going to be a City of Versus Rumors. First, tough ride for Asidia. I still, he told me not too long ago that he still doesn't think the Alex changes are enough. Let's yeah, I feel like it's probably, I think Alex is a good character now, but I don't think he's like a top 10. I don't think he's a top 10, but I definitely thought he was, especially not even this season. I think the, the previous change about season four, I thought he was already pretty, like a lot stronger. He no, wasn't bottom yeah, five for once, I... is what I should have said. Yeah, yeah, but... I I agree with that as yeah. well, yeah. But he's... He said he has been playing really well. Um, I'm not going to say super recently, because I haven't been playing, uh, pay, watching too much, but when I was watching last, a couple of months ago, I thought he had improved a lot. And Round I mean, one. he's beat Turkish bread already in the corner too, so... Sweet. That is nothing to sneeze at. Of course, you see he is the Queensland there. I'm sure a lot of people would be going for him. Oh, oh. Room is just interrupting that stand heavy kick. And very nice coast to coast. Interesting to see you going for VT2. I do know like a lot of the Alexes now, they, they like it a lot. Yeah, I've been hearing that. I'm still waiting for the V skill to change as well because I've always in my head it just seems really good and I've never understood why it's not. I do know Rups likes going 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. V skill one is definitely easier. I think V skill two might have a higher Yeah. More potential, yeah. He's up against Mr. Capcom Cup himself, so... He'll be looking to repeat that in a couple of weeks as well. Yeah. Ooh, nice! That's... Oh! Ooh. 
Lydia Sheen on a lot of meter here, I would be doing an EX jump somewhere, and I think that's why Rumors is doing those neutral jumps in neutral. Um, kind of preemptively avoid those, because even if you do react to them, it's usually not enough to punish them. You have to be kind of preemptive jump. It's hard for a city to hide it, because when you're crouching like this, you can only be doing one thing. Yep, yeah. Oh, nice, on that range. Nice. Empty jump load. Very nice. Just finish. Yeah. Rumor seems pretty confident Cody in this matchup, wins. the way he's kind of scouting things in a safe way. And although they haven't shown up, he is very prepared. Um, but yeah, I think that Alex EX Stomp is probably the most underrated special in this game. I think mm. it's one of the best EX moves in the game. Yeah, I don't think it's talked about enough, to be honest. It is right in that point. outstandingly good. You can aim it, it's plus three, it's really fast, like, you, it's a hard, hard reaction. Even if you react with a neutral jump, he, a lot of the time he recovers in time on the ground that you can't punish him at all. So you kind of have to preemptively punish it. It's not like a reaction punish, unless you're like just straight up doing an invincible anti-air reaction. Which you'll usually need something that doesn't have a hard input. And... Yeah, I think it's really good. City has forced the corner at the start here, which has been good, but... It's like a bias He has to be careful, he doesn't want to go too Ooh, into it, that's good. Power. Reset. Still needs one. Could have killed there with EX, but it's okay. Ah! If he just did the stomp, it probably would have been better. This could be better. No, do not lose from here, do not lose from here. You had it with the EX. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All part of the plan, save the bar. Good stuff. Like you. Round two. Well, he spent it to get one back, so probably might as well just spend it in the first place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's good. Uh, corner. Rumors. Two bar to reach the stage, and it's totally worth it. Three jabs. Nice. Three fighter four. Fat characters. Oh, oh. trying to bait. That was actually very impressive from Mercedia, not to force Not to bite, yeah. 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 Sleep oh, this is good Oki here. Yep. Nice. No Oki, but... Good jump. See what I mean? See how he, how early he jumped that and he still couldn't punish it. Mm. Oh, yeah, he did it. He, he knew it was coming, he jumped before it happened to punish it, and Alex still landed on the ground in time to block it. Rumors, forcing corner. Very early on. There's nothing. There's nothing Alex is gonna do about that. Oh, maybe. Nice. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, nah, but... Oh, you're in the corner. You're in trouble. No, you're not wow. getting out. Yo, you shouldn't have done that. What's he trying to get out? I see a lot of counter hits on like the second hit. It does finally activate, but he has to get a lot now. Plus three. Plus. Yep. Nice! Oh, good punish. But yeah, I don't need to Cody politely harp wins. on more about that Alex move as well. The other thing it does, the EX Stomp, is an untakeable hard knockdown, which is guaranteed Oki that can't be. There's no quick rise back rise. You're getting up late. It's a hard knockdown that you will always get up the same way from. Which o Alex does not have a lot of stuff that does anything like that. And a lot of characters don't have anything like that, actually. I'm actually Same. thinking well, uh, maybe that's why a lot of Alex players have gravitated towards BT2, just for more sustainable Oki on yeah. things they're already getting hits on. So yeah, I, I could see it. I could see why maybe now we're gravitating towards that. I don't, and I think the two bar trigger helps as well. Yeah, for sure. So absolutely, it, it's yeah, it's interesting seeing the evolution of where Alex is at compared to how he was before. Because I don't think necessarily all of these were patch changes. It might just be like a little difference in how they start to think about the game. Yeah. So up next we have... Shenkan and Felscribe. Alright. Some guild versus a roulette of... I'm guessing it's Ken. I yeah, like Ken. Ken. I, I think you're right. I think it's going to be Ken, but it could be Zeku, it could be Lucia. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Lucia either. No. Um, but I don't think, if it is Lucia, I don't think he'll play her in any other match we see him play. 
I think if he's going to play Lucia, Seer, this is the one. <laughs> You're saying he's just going to use it versus easy players? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I wouldn't say easy players, but I would say he's Rick not going to use her against top five in Australia players. Well, I've seen him do it, and it's not bad. Yeah, no, it's all by, yeah. But I'm, I'm just not feeling it today. I think that... Bipson. Oh, yeah. He's... Okay, well, he... I had the right idea. He's doing the old... The hate... The hate pick. Anything you it. can do, I can Bow do. Down. You know, he only plays Bison because he thinks Bison's a really oh, dumb character and that anybody can <laughs> yeah, play Bison. That's, that's actually true. He didn't use it in the Round 2v2. One. It was up there for him. Right. That's, that's a, that's Could have had the point proven very easy. He only plays Bison because he thinks Bison's dumb and that... Not, not that it, uh, that's, that's harsh saying anyone who's twice, but you know what I mean. Like, I do know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, I didn't mean to say that. makes me, that makes it sound, sound like he's very mean. I didn't mean to make him sound like that. But I think he could... wanted you to, I think he baited you into it. <laughs> this is all, this is the plan all along. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that looks like a very easy round. <laughs> Your round two. I will say something about this Shen Bison already. It feels like I could do it, and maybe that's proving like his point. So it's like... The reason he, he plays a lot of Bison, I imagine, would also be to familiarize himself with the character for when he has to play against the character. And everybody knows, there are a lot of Bison in this region. There's a lot of sharp characters in general in this region. Yeah, I don't know why that is. It's the same as Street Fighter 4 was the same Yeah, that's what I learned as well, and I was like, I get it. It's like Bison. I mean, I, I played one as well. I played Vega in 4, and I don't know why we like dodge characters so much, but... Yes. Uh, I don't know. Also, <laughs> historically, charge characters were put in the game to make it easier for quote-unquote Americans to play. <laughs> I'm quoting, I'm quoting what Capcom may have said when they put Guile in the game. Yeah, I have read like that. I always thought it was kind of like... Um, mm, misconfirmed oh. by Scribe. That's a bad down. punish. Close round. Make him pay, Phil. Make him pay. Oh, that was just a little trade there. Oh. Hard to scramble. But I always thought it was a way to... Um, I mean, Guile obviously disproved a bit of my line of thought, but... I thought it was just a way to balance boss characters to be playable because it was all the boss characters that were the charge runs, like Vega and Bison, you know what I mean? That's true, actually. I never thought And that. Sagat wasn't charged, but he was top tier as shit because his fireballs were so damn good. But at the same time, um, Vega was charged and he was also top tier, so. Almost. I thought the idea behind the charge version was really to begin with was to kind of try and balance boss characters as they became playable. But yeah, Guile uh, always the old charge boy. Shen, I mean, they're very good affecting this. The boss is putting a pressure. This is a nice breakup by Phil. He has to get a lot done though. I kind of want him to activate Sue. Probably there would have been nice. Maybe he doesn't even need to. He gets the stun. This is high scaling though. He works, then beat up. Unless you're going to do it to like put him in a state. Yeah, like that. That's okay. good. That was good spin. But he didn't need to do it. He definitely Round needed a reset. Two. I'm not sure that's the way I would have done it, but... Same result. Out, but again, a little out of range. Oh, oh, oh. almost split up, parry. Yeah, that's another long range throw, but not that long range. This is actually, uh, actually it's a very interesting matchup to watch whenever. Oh, Ooh, I saw the it. knee come out, so I think Fel was trying to bait a tech. Chen going low. It's probably going to keep going low as well. I was going to be careful not to whiff anything. 
Oh, just to try it again. But yeah, I think this is a very interesting matchup always to watch. It's a fun one to watch because it's kind of. I think it's one of Bison's. I don't think it's one of his worst matchups, but I think it's one of his scariest because of that uh, parry. You know what I mean? Mm. Bison is a very. A lot of matchups when you're pressing your button, you don't really need to think about it. You just press your button. But you always need to be thinking about it. Having to pause, yeah. Having to pause to maybe bait something up. Yeah. Okay. Time to return to harmony. This is only going to even up the life loop of Bell's Scribe. He needs to still get something else. Yeah, no, I see as well. Bell can go for it, but the classic is punished. Oh, that V-Shift is oh, going to hurt him a lot. I think he I really that. needed that. Or maybe oh, not. That combo. That counter hit. Nice. Wow. Great combo by Bell's Scribe. That was, yeah, that was a really good finish that round. Good stuff. One piece and knowing Shen Ken, I do not believe he will swap characters. I think he will stick Stop it with the bison. Me. Yep. Round one. He's very much a uh, captain of the ship, if you know what I mean. <laughs> He's gonna go down with it. If someone picks an unusual character, would you, if you beat them, would you feel better or worse about yourself if they if you force them to switch? I would feel, I'd feel good, but not great. You know what I mean? I'd I don't like, know. Ooh. Ooh. I've landed in front. Bell with a lot to do. Oh, not close enough. It's a shame he had to back off there because the pressure's all. Momentum got killed a little bit. Yeah. Ow. You round two. Fight. Ooh. Ah. That was odd. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Bell's going hoping it happens again, but not this time. So you get the button. Nice. Oh, not quite the convert. Uh, well, not currently. He's not going to this race. Yeah. Oh, that was lucky. You got that. He didn't dash though. No. Bell scribe. I could feel him throw his head back for missing that. Like, no. Oh, that's gonna be good though. That was sick. Oh, he he got the overhead. Uh -oh. That's dead. Boom. Ultimate. Elscribe, I think he's going to be kicking himself for missing that. Unfortunately. Yeah. Put up a good fight. fight. Super often. Yeah, I feel like he's the most EX character and in the game. <laughs> the most fast bender. <laughs> you rarely, rarely see the super. That's going to put Shen inside the top 8. I believe we have... Yeah, he'll be fighting Rumors the next time we see either of them. So we're going to do one more before we go on break, I believe. We're just going to be Space Ghost and Professor. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's see. A little update on the bracket. Looks like Final Blast beat Demon Eye before falling to Asidia. So Asidia is still in. Uh, Chang... Currently awaiting, it's got to be Felscribe in the loser's bracket match. Llama's going to first the loser of this next match, Space Ghost and Professor. Llama beat Turkish Fred 2-1. That would have been a great match to watch. Mm. Very, very close one. Dank is awaiting the winner of Goldie and Mecha JD. That would also be another great one to watch. Uh, whatever happens in that... Game 24. Does that mean TB went 0 and 2 tonight? Uh, looks like it. Oh shit, he's gonna blame me tonight. He wasn't even on stream! How could it be my fault? <laughs> Final game, one touch each, he says. That would have been a good one to watch. <laughs> Damn. Oh, messed up the shimmy and got back thrown. That's a feels bad.
<laughs> Guilty gift, bro. Well, I have some good news for you, Turkish bro, after this game. Yeah. No, you, you go ahead. I feel like you're much more eloquent in uh, announcing these things. <laughs> Let's let these guys play out first. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Oh yes, Professor Scott. I remember now. It's all coming back. Professor, so pretty regular in Pledge. Street Fighter Australia, Australia representative. I... I think the only guile in Fledglings is probably Grayson, so I don't know if he plays that much of it. He has had to face a lot of Zoners in general, just because we've got a lot of Manats and Dalsons that have been yep. arriving in Fledglings recently, so... Yep. He has been put in uncomfortable spots before. If there is one trait the Professor doesn't have that a Sagat probably should, is his ATS aren't always on point. Yeah. And that might cost you a little bit. Especially against an aggressive guy like Space Ghost. Yeah. I think Ooh. Professor was looking for a for his turn to fireball, but he hasn't been able to get one this round. There we go. I'll only be able to start something, but... Oh, angry scar. Force back. Uh-oh. Interrupted out. Wow, that combo off the dash. Can he convert that? Not quite. Oh, he went big. I like that he better get on that one. Post. Dead. CA. I love that. <laughs> Boom. Guile wins. This is really rough for professors. <laughs> I think he, se minute. he seems a little timid to throw fireballs and try and contest. Something's wrong here. Something's wrong. Uh -oh. Let me just double check to make sure. No, it's not. No, it's not. I take it back. I thought this was loser's side on. for some reason. I was like, why isn't he using the zombie costume? <laughs> but it's winner's side. I take it back. But we're still alive. We see his work socks. Wow, I just read that for the first time. Ooh, I wonder if Professor's gonna try and character switch. I don't know if this is a play you want to do. But I feel like if he's not gonna be able to throw fireballs, maybe he can go to someone else. Yeah. I haven't seen him practice that many other characters, so I can't really remember off the top of my head. Don't worry about the fire yeah. now. Oh. That's not Sagat. Okay. <laughs> it's very far from Sagat. Well, at the very least, he's going to survive one. a little bit longer because he has more health. Fight. So that's going to help. <laughs> Probably the only thing he might struggle with is Abigail's quite slow. So trying to gain space is not going to be easy for him. Ooh, take big risks Ooh. like that. But not only do you have to take them, you have to show that you're not afraid to take them. Oh! Very nice. Xavier, so very ready for that. You really need to disappear into the dark lane. And if you can't, then it's already, you've already lost. I'm actually not. I'm actually wondering if maybe VT1 would have been better just to reflect the fireballs, but... Oh. Okay, just gets okay. it on the end. Uh -oh. No, no, he wanted to wait for Black to there, but... That helps. He only have one more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice. Abigail is P C B T. I hope that's not the CBT that I imagine you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And the, uh, the V School Fireball is really going to mess up Abigail a lot, especially on those runs. I'm wondering if that's why Space Ghost went for it. Nice reaction to the anti air. Oh, I'm going for jab punishes. Well, then he had to stand up. So he couldn't really 
No oh, yeah, CA? Have done that. Uh oh! Oh! Just chop him out of the nice. out of the armor. And then. The professor held a little longer. Surprisingly, it did a lot more work than the arts, I guess. So maybe the change wasn't that bad. Yeah. No, it worked a bit better, yeah. But I, I feel like I attribute that more so to the guards are really hard characters to play well. Mm, that is true. And Abigail... Maybe uh, well, maybe he scammed a few say, hits. But... Maybe that's a bit... <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's what the line of think you want to go down, but... Anyway, congratulations to Space Ghost. He's going to be appearing in the top eight. He's got to face Somniac next. Uh, we are going to have a short break, but before we do... We do have an announcement. You may remember a few weeks ago, we had our very first uh, additional game on the Unga channel, which was our Strive tournament. Well, we're going to do it again. A second monthly starting, I believe it's next Sunday. I don't actually remember. Hopefully there's August a slide first. Derek has put up. Which is, yes, next Sunday. It is next Sunday, 1st of mm -hmm. August. Yep. It is going to be a $50 Steam voucher for the first place winner as well. So. If you would like to sign up that, please check the Unger Discord for more details. And we hope to see you there. It'll be, yeah, it'll be 2 p.m. next Sunday. That's it. We will take a short break, myself and Nez, and we'll be right back. Oh, we're going to do, oh, sorry. We have one more announcement. Uh, Baxter is also hosting his tournament. If, I think a lot of people probably know Baxter. Um, he used yep. to be in the Street Fighter community, also in DBZ, and now anime. Uh, I believe he's doing a a, f a few different show matches, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I believe so. Open tournament, oh, sorry. Oh, really? An open tournament? So please go support him. You can check out... I You can probably check out his uh, Twitter, Ham Baxter, for more details on that. There it is. That'll be happening on August 7th, so the week after uh, our one. Oh, there man. we are. $500 pot bonus. That's going to be sweet. Mm, wow. It's very, very good time to be in the Strive community right now. They've had a very successful launch, and I think everyone's very excited making it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. with that, uh, we will be back after the break. Oh what? my god, it's the Honda. Oh, rumors. I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm gonna go like grab a drink or something, like, and then I'll be back after the reset. No, this, this is what I'm saying, it's like, <laughs> no one is having fun right now. Rumors yeah, officially joined the ranks of no fun player. I don't think he was expecting the guy, though. I, I don't. Oh, he did the Visco 1. I feel like most Honda's would use the Visco 2, like no matter what. Like, yeah, the clap I think the... this matchup is still has some. You're not really going to get too many opportunities to start yeah, the Visco 2. It builds a lot of emitter as well. Just going to be swinging, trading low. Alright, I like the sweet with my good. Wait, we need to see more bot slams. Like, we haven't seen a single the X-Bot slam yet. Uh, like, do you really get a Honda play if you have, like, more than one bar at a time? Yeah. Ooh, there it is. Just almost I, am, I am a firm believer in the Honda V-Trigger one. Oh, yeah, Honda v ones. Like, don't let any other, you know, Honda players, um... I, <laughs> I otherwise remember getting better. many arguments about this. Yeah, if I'm um, clips right, if if Phrase is listening to this, right, V Trigger one. V Trigger one's better than V Trigger two. I don't know if V Trigger is bad, man. Oh no, it, it's good. It's just V Trigger one. It's so much better. It's mostly just the activate on the end, so that I don't <laughs> Oh, are the activates. Mm. There it is, X Bot Slam. Yeah, you can't activate V Trigger two unless you EX. Honda on. wins. But yeah, most Hondas just do like forward heavy kick, like crash every punch, right? Probably. I don't know. I just I decided to not 
to, to stop poisoning my relationships with people around me. And, uh, yeah. Honda, you pick Honda once it's all over. I, I only pick Honda against people I know hate versing Honda. Because it's just like pretty well, you know? you just like kill them. Just like my like, like, character. Just keep yourself in that I mean, who likes fighting Honda? No, but we're talking about like the people that vehemently like, you know, fight for them. Yeah. Angry players and cami players. That's, that's oh, no, nah, like, cami players. <laughs> No, I, I, I hate game players, that's all I'll say. They, they deserve to get Honda done. On the beats cam, yeah. Apparently there's some tech that I don't know about the freezer does, but... But Shankar just takes that round while we were just rambling on about. Ooh, nice armor. Ooh, you gotta punish that, um, that headbutt. Hon, um, guy will also have a 7 frame sweep. And you can use that to punish the uh, medium, no, bust, not bust, no, the medium headbutt. Really liking that Shinkan's playing this. This is ready for the majority of the champions. Ooh, Except nice punch the new rust. But yeah, if, if you're, uh, Shen, you gotta be scared here, right? Honda, any touch here, it can take so much damage. But just jumps over the hands. Oh god. Ooh, yeah, he gets been able reads to the... the super actually. He's just buffing yeah, he's, that super buffing waiting super. for a uh <laughs> wait for the fireball. Oh, oh there we go, just just slow forward. Shank I'll sign it up real quick. Guile wins. Is this yeah. matchup bad for Cody? Um no, it's it's Cody so. Guile's even. It's just I, I told the rumors to play oh. well, I, I didn't say <laughs> I didn't tell him to, I suggested that he should, you know. Play different you asked him to have fun. He wants to win. I mean, he's winning. Round you know, it's it's, it's one apiece. Fight. All right, got the fight. Get, gets a sweep. And again. Slowly winning down. The yeah, rumor is that he's willing to keep sweeping. It is. Well, right. Ooh, good offside down kick. Yeah, he's not phased by hills. You know, he'll keep attacking. Not a good position to be in if you're rumors right now. Yeah, nice right. answer. Um, just taking firm control of the situation. Yeah, right, all the square one game. It's like, okay, cool. I know what you want to do. Let's just try it. See what happens. Alright. Rumors just backing himself into a corner here. And this is just so irritating, watch just headbots constantly. I, I literally don't even know how to come and play on I go, use a special move. Um, he's, he's, he's just gonna like stop making like ape noises right eventually. <laughs> I mean, it's on brand for him. The one thing I will say though, like, Honda's like, against four framers, this pressure is really scary. Ooh, and again, All right, that's, that's what dead. Say. Yeah. Rumi is really good at the right. Um, Normally, like a really good defensive choice. Is that? Yes, yeah, that. Uh -huh. Um, normally a good defensive choice against a Honda is just speed rustle the hands, right? But in that B trigger, he can see the B rustle and then punish it with the armor. And B trigger one. Easy B. B trigger and you know, rumors showed earlier in the set, but hey, look, I can do this. But you know, Shenkan, he tried it again, and you know, died for it. I'm taking control. Ooh, big push counter. Just waste the bar on the Xbox. Doesn't like just straight hits. I mean, I like the choice to pull out of that spot stomp. I mean, he clearly saw that Rumors was ready for him here. Ooh, we'll get it below. Yeah, get it below. And this is guessing game. Ooh, Ooh and she's like, man, grab me, grab. Rumors taking it. That's 2 1. Is it 2 1? It's 2 1. Yeah, it's 2 1, yeah. Honda win. Half the sleep.
Like, I don't really know what to say, man. Like, yeah, I mean, it's just nice, clean. I, you know? I, I like how Shen is playing, but it just, it just kind of feels like... Yeah, I mean, Rumors is just running that's, you know, um, clean, um, honest, uh, like, grounded, uh, footsie-based, you know, game that Honda's known for. And he's running it really well. I gotta say, like, I think the v is winning this for Rumors. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, just, like, it gives him such big, just, like, just swings for me. options to get to the v draws and extra time to confirm into supers and things. Kind of just tipped him over the edge in these. Yeah, and, like, the damage is really good, right? Like, just like, a straight hit, it's, like, 30%. And there is, right, the X-Bot Slam. You think it's your turn? No, it's not. <laughs> Give him the cheeks. Ooh. Boom. Cross up. Cross up slam to get out of the corner. That is minus four. He did Shen can't block that he could have punished it. But I think you know, like we can see like the tilt from Shenkan, you know, coming in, right? He's making yeah, a lot of emotional like, yeah. He's making a lot of emotional decisions. Oh, but he gets to activate. Alright, that's good. Oh, V shift out of there. He throws, but no punish for the V shift. Rumors is taking Ooh, these straight nice hits, but it feels like he doesn't get yeah, it. Right. Yeah. I that like was, it. That was a hero DP, right? That round was looking lost. And he DP'd anyway. I like it. I like it. You wanna show that you got it? Oh yeah, Shanka needs to be punching these uh medium it's, it's a little bit of like matchup like unfamiliarity, right? Guy would can sweep those headbots, but he's not doing it. A good option against the this headbutt is gonna hold the butt stomp to just a V shift. Yeah you can V shift and punish it on landing. Or even better, right? As a as a DP character, and Garl's got a charge flash kick, right? So it's even easier. But if you block the first set of the X spot slam, you can actually DP and punish the second hit. And it's guaranteed. Really? Um, yeah. There's this, there's a small gap between the uh, hits of the butt slam. So you can do that in Garl though. Oh my um, god, is that it? Yeah, that's it. And rumors just takes like it. We're talking one. genuine gaming rumors. Come down well. downtown, head butts his way. I don't want to say it, but that was three. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you know, back, uh, back to being a T.O. Shen, you know, 2000. Welcome back, everyone, to the Unger Down Under, powered by Genuine Gaming. We're just back from the break, about to start our top eight. So, we have Shen Khan and Rumors, which we're about to see on stream very shortly, uh, in our winner's semi, Somniac and Space Coast in the other. Just a wedding for the loser's bracket. Any bets, Nez? Oh, um, I think we will see a Rumors Somniac Grand Final. Uh, winner's final, I should say. I don't know about the Grand Final, but that's the winner's final I'm expecting. Good. But be pretty close. It is hard to say um, with Shenkan rumors, especially because I don't know what character Shenkan's going to pick. So. Well, looks like he's ready up and good to go. I don't. Where's mm, Cody? Where's Cody? No, I'm drawing a blank. You can play <laughs> anyone he wants. You can play anyone he wants. It's like it's not. It's not even. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd pick Zeku if I were, were trying to do the old win, but there's no character he plays has a significant advantage over Cody, and I feel like Cody doesn't lose to that many characters in a big way, maybe like Dalsim. I think Sim's the yeah. If you get the ball rolling on Sim, he it's very okay. hard. Okay, whatever. Well. Yeah, Fine. Okay. Yeah, okay, well, yeah. <laughs> I I will be impressed if he wins. I will I'll back you up that it's going to be a winner's zombie hacker. Winner's fight. fight. Yeah. <laughs> because Rumors has uh, about as much bias in friends as you can get into Trigid. Probably more so than any other character. Uh, I would say he is the most impressive fighting this one. Oh, not quite the drop you wanted, but... 
didn't really cost them anything either, so. <laughs> oh, nope. I think that's definitely the range where Shen definitely has to go air to air if he wants the anti air. I'm surprised how patient Rumors wants to play this matchup. Normally it's very often for Bison to just keep chasing plus frames, but it's almost like he's inviting Shen to do it. Nice, that's better. That's Ooh. not that much better. I think he meant to do it. Yeah, Ooh. Oh, this is big. Oh, he didn't spend. Uh, I wonder if that would have killed probably not, but it would have been close. That's, that's a nice confirm. Big win. You can link that without a counter hit. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the first things I lab. Actually, having Cody yeah. having like vacuum effect on the CA helps a lot as well because yeah. it makes it really consistent. Yeah, and that was the first like cool guy thing where like it's like the I'm gonna throw away my entire game plan just to do this once kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that that's when I started playing Cody. That was the thing. I was like, yeah, I just want to get this every time I had super. Just walking around there with stand medium kick. Nice conversion. A plus. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. He gets him. Yeah. That's fun. Oh, wow. Yeah. Pipe does, um... Pipe through. I don't know if it does extra stun, but it definitely does extra damage. Or it's one way or the Corey. other. And okay. Yeah. That's why it's got the uh, different animation. Not too convincing from Shen Khan. It's a bit like G in that he has a different throw for if you're crouching than if you're standing. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. I don't know if you thought that was a thing on G. I, yeah, I remember saying it. Throw does 200 stun room there you go. That's like Young Zeku equivalent, right? Pretty close. Yeah, I'd say it's close or eat one way or the other. Very high damage. I mean, stun. <laughs> yeah. Nice convert for rumors. Very low risk with him so far. Been playing extremely safely. Oh, nice. That was very impressive. Um, Ooh, pocket save went the wrong way. Shed, not. Oh, so he did take out. Decent amount. Nice. Yeah. Keeps it safe. Oh, got him. Yeah, Bison really needs. He needs to really jump back at here to deal with some kind of deep jumps like that. Oh, nice. Oh, empty jump throw. One more. Just the meaty. Round two. And Khan. Everyone else is on the evacuation craft. He's still in the captain's hole. Oh, and for chase. Great way you use it. Heavy punch, and again. Stun's high. He can keep this pressure up to keep that stun up. Oh, he just lets it go, though. I mean, this is a good life lead, but I don't think it was too risky for him to keep going. And this is dangerous now for rumors. Nice chase on the V shift. One for V, one for Sun. Just let it hit. There it is. Trade it away. And rumors that'll be the easiest semi final he's ever done in his entire life. Yeah, he'll be happy about that one. Moving on to a winner's final, which will be a yeah, first two, three. It's so we have a, at least one more game, but definitely more before we'll be seeing that. I'm kind of, I'm kind of wondering now. I know Shen is a patient player, and that's kind of like one of the styles that he's most famous for. Mm -hmm. But especially towards the end of that game, I don't know if he maybe put a push for stun. I don't think there was too much risk of him doing it. 
and yeah. it, it guaranteed him that round at least right there and he kind of back off to play it safe which is normally much okay but I don't know. I'm not sure if the, especially with the unfamiliarity with the other character, maybe it should have been better the other way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you kind of, it's very volatile in that sense, the matchup, because the characters don't have the best offensive options, but they have very, very good Let's offensive options. More so Cody needs the trigger, but hmm. yeah. Here we go, loading into our second semi-finals. Two players very familiar with each other across tournaments and ranked, obviously. Expecting no surprises. Oh. Round oh. one. Fight! I always do really like watching this matchup though between these play two players specifically. Space Ghost, um, I mean, he has a very good approach to playing against Somniac and dealing with his options compared to pretty much any, anyone else um, in the region. What do you think, anything in particular? That the way how he approaches that maybe other people are missing? Mostly how he deals with the air options and mixes up his mm. kind of ways to deal with them. Specifically X Devil's Reverse, but um, he makes it a guessing game on both sides, where a lot of people it's kind of more so a guessing game under themselves. And if you can shut down that air, or at least make it a lot more kind of scary for Bison, and that is a massive part of the matchup. It's part of the matchup that a lot of people will just lose to, and that'll be it. And that'll be the main reason. Oh, wow, really like, early flash kick. Yeah. If that had whipped, he would have probably recovered in time to block as well. It's funny though, because normally when you're training on Bali, you're told to do really late flash kick, but actually, yeah, it works out a lot better in that spot. And now Space Ghost. Really easy win condition in the super. Air approach is so good. Um, it doesn't always work, but he's always doing the bomb. Things. Nice, good way to get rid of it. Oh, good tag. Oh, he's dead. Sama has to go in now. He has to go in. Otherwise, he's danger of getting chipped. Still knows it. Oh, great! No, no, no. You hate to see it. Final round. Fight. I want to say that was more great play by Somniac to try and avoid that than it was. Maybe Space Ghost letting it go, though he did a little bit. Nice. Pick up. Nice. Okay. Early set. Not a bad idea. Get that life, please. So you don't have to take risks. Oh, that there. He went too big there. Good recovery there. Ooh. Pulled him this time. Yeah. Not Somniac. much of a punish there. Bar for a bar if there. Oh, and that's Somniac. Trouble, yeah, somebody else can drive a seat now. Looking for a mix up. Suppose, okay, so at least get some space. He won't get it though. Nice. Bison wins. Nice game by some. This is the first matches we've watched from him today, aren't we? Yeah. We've missed all these other ones. Yeah, we have. Ah. We, yeah, next time being a fool. Round one. What the? Fight. Yep, only versus Chim and Zank. Hasn't dropped a single game yet. I do know he wasn't he wasn't too happy with his intel run. He is looking to do better in CPT, so nice way to keep up. Space Ghost. Just gonna spend it all just to get into the corner. Let's see what he can do with this position. Ooh. 
Oh, Let him out, oh, Yeah, that's a good way to break out of that cross up. So I'm trying to bait. Doesn't work this time. Wow, sweep. Oh. Did he mean it? I don't know. I it's Meaty yeah. sweep. It's, yeah. Or was it supposed yeah. to be upside down kick? I, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It worked out super well, well, though. Like, there's no trigger for him to keep it safe, so surely he didn't mean it. Tom grabs high stun, though. Space goes, trying to break you out. Nice way. Ooh. Couldn't stop the dash. Just interrupt the check. Tick throw. Nice, simple finish for Sonny to regather himself after that round. Nice guys. It's hard for him to get the initiative this early. That was nice. Yeah, you see that a lot. Little check. Uh oh, see hey, that? Wow. See what I mean? He's really good with the air defense. Even if it doesn't work, he's usually in a position where it's not going to hurt. It's him not going to cost him. Yeah. I'm gonna try to walk up the throw. Good check by Somniac. Not allowing him to advance. Oh, nice pick. Air kind of hit. Should be it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Excellent conversions out of Somniac toward the end. I love the way he judged that to get that trigger. To combo out. Very nice by Somniac. It's go time. So it is going to be a Rumors and Somniac winners final. We're not there yet. Let's have a look. I don't know why I got rid of it. Here we go. So, down in the loser's bracket, it looks like Goldilock beat Llama. So, Llama's now out of our competition. He's going to be versing Shen Khan. Kachang is going to verse Space Ghost on stream after that. So, this is actually a run back of the game they played earlier, which went 2 1 in Shen Khan's favor. Good chance for Goldilock to get his own back. Is it still is it still Bison? Maybe he has mm. been playing Bison this whole time. Yeah, I feel like it, it's it's the point of no return has been passed. <laughs> like I don't know why you would not play Bison now. now. Yeah, yeah. Like it's just isn't it very nice of him? Like he's won so he won like the first three weeks in a row. Now he's just like giving everyone a chance to catch up on points. Maybe. It Maybe that's the curse, because I wasn't able to catch a lot of those. Never mind. So maybe... Okay, yeah. I like this matchup. Like we were talking about a little bit earlier on with Ken. Is... Ken's not the best Shoto, but he does well against other Shotos. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a fair thing to say. I love this little space that they're playing in between each other. Ooh, nice. nice. Ooh, good cross cut as well. Colby, no stranger to Shoto, so this shouldn't be unfamiliar for him. No, he has a very good Ken as well, so. Nice. Couldn't quite chase. Whoa! Maybe hoping to parry kind of a bigger button, but... Still very even so far. This little range is... 
Oh, just that approach for sweet. Can't quite convert from it. Oh, I think channel lot. No EX. Okay. Wow, that was dangerous. But he did it. <laughs> Round two. Could have gone very wrong for Goldie. Ken's damage output is nothing to sneeze at. No, yeah, if he gets going. The thing is, he a lot of his conversions are very small, but if he can get a good starter on you, then uh, he's gonna hurt, and it's gonna take you the whole screen. Too. Ken didn't quite believe in the fireball punish, and now it's gonna cost him. There it yeah, is, stun. That should be it. First round for Goldie. Yeah, I'm not jinxing oh. that. That's fine. Akuma wins. Hmm. Oddly enough, I think Goldie has been winning that little neutral spacing game that the both of them seem to want to be playing. Yeah, we were yet we didn't see a uh, V trigger two. Round Surprisingly. One. Yeah. Fight. But I know that's... some can try and use it in like neutral to go over fireballs, but it's really yeah. slow. So it's more being predictive than anything else. There you go. It is a losing game, the fireball game there, though, with Ken and Akuma, because... Mm. Like, well, like, like you were talking about a little bit earlier, Ken's fireballs don't knock down when Akuma's do. Exactly, so... Akuma gets a lot bigger reward. Without fear of um, being knocked down. Having said that, this damage is building up a little bit. Shen quietly. Oh, oh misconfirmed. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's even again. Goldie with the spacing. Advantage. Oh. oh. Strange interrupt, but. Led. Oh, you did not want that type of. But... Oh, it's a bad. No, no. He'll still need one more after this, even with Super. Ooh, I didn't know you could combo it like that now. Yeah. Nice, nice check. Round two. You do have to spend all your V-Tracker bar to do it, but it is, it's That's nice. Cool. Yeah, I like it. It's letting that target combo rock. Ooh, nice. Into the corner. Light delay from Goldie. Nice. His use of V skill has been really good this matchup so far. Oh yeah. It hasn't cost him too much. Normally Akumas don't want to do it too much because of the grey health that it can build up. He's been doing it at smart times though. Nice. Oh, uh -oh. Mr. That should be it. That nice delay. Into super. Super. It's going to be cool. Yeah. That's what he's he wussed out a little bit. But... Ken wins. Shen in a slow set. Bringing you back. One thing I will give Shen is that he picks the good costume at least. Oh, nostalgia? Yeah. Ken, I think Ken this is the best Ken costume. Well, it's not a hard, it's not a hard competition, is it? No. <laughs> yeah, but you'd be surprised the costumes people prefer. You know what I mean? I mean, I've seen I've seen Ken use cowboy Christmas Ken occasionally. Yeah, I've I've seen that. Yeah. I know. At least it's not as bad as the. Um, Four one. That was so much worse. When do we get Smash Ken? <laughs> Best costume. <laughs> yeah, it would actually be nice. Nice cross cut. I'm not even sure if that. Oh, wow. First EXDP of the set. I'm actually wondering if it was. I understood Godly wanted to get out of the corner bank, but it might have been actually better to try and fight his way out. Yeah. 
especially with Trigger. I don't think he could lose that much health from the cross card anymore. Very big disadvantage for him to get in the second round. Final look for something. Oh, oh, good dash. That's a great option there. Extreme just escaping it. Goldie. He really needs to get to his trigger faster. Yep, very close. He could activate with a trigger on block, but... I he really tried. think he wants to hit. Oh, boy. That, he didn't, yeah, that was a... That was a yeah, he didn't want that. It got cross-cut because Ken went over his head. That's actually really unfortunate for him because it's a nice... Yeah. Juicy combo there. Could have left a one reset to go. Now he has to find another hit again. Yeah, probably a bit more. Oh, fireball almost catching. That should be it. Oh, I'm oh that, that was a chance. Work. Okay, okay. This is still the hit he found. Doesn't help a lot. One good confirm into super will do it. So anybody Super, around. demon, anything. This is a cooler and dangerous spot. No. Still has low health though. He almost was too scared to do anything. Shen just walking up and throwing him. Just taking advantage. Good stuff. Good set. 2 1. Oh, that was a very good set, actually. I enjoyed that yep. a lot. I'm glad he picked Ken. I really like the way that both of them were kind of thinking about it. I think, actually, it's probably one of the things that shows. How good Goldie is as a player, but at the same time, a little bit inexperienced in a lot of situations like that. Yeah. Where he had a very clear win condition towards the end, but trying to think on the spot which way he wanted to go kind of caught him in no man's land. And put him in yeah. a little bit of trouble, but... Very difficult spot. Congratulations to Shen, though. You will move on. Yep. To fight the winner of Space Ghost and Kachang King, who we have not seen yet on that stream. I haven't been seeing Kachang in competition in a long time. I know yeah, he's, I like... he's pretty regular in like Perth locals and things like that, but I think he had some in real life stuff to that kind of stopped him from even going to a skateboard and things like that. So it's good just yeah. to see him out in competition again. It's been. He also plays like. Most of the characters that I play, so it's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> it does have Nash on the screen, but I I could see Karen, I could see Lucia. It is going to be Nash, though. Good choice. I think that's the character to pick for. Oh, I mean, I think Kareem does beat him against Guile, too, mm. to be fair. Um, but Nash, hey, Fight. if you're ever going to pick him, I feel like this is the matchup. Now, what's different between this and what we saw from... Uh, who was a little bit earlier? Final Blast. Final Blast. He's going with VT1 instead of 2. VT1 normally considered oh. pretty good against Fireball characters, so I don't blame it. And it's a lot easier to use as well. Absolutely. Nice! Oh. I like great. the idea from both of them, but Space Ghost was a great reaction. Yeah, I'm surprised he was prepared for that. That was very good. Oh, nice mix. Classic. A classic four. I suggest round two. Great way to break the corner. Ouch, ouch. Combos nice. after it as well. Ooh, I think he changed. He gave Space Ghost a little bit of respect there early by not chasing that medium. Ooh. Ooh. Can work. I thought that goes through, but that's actually a great reaction from Kachan, but just the wrong option. Yeah. Come by again. Oh, I wonder if we should have done super. I'm seeing this, but oh wow, there. Yeah, not a reversal, but it has frame one. Is it upper body? Something like that. I think. I know it's. I know it can beat throw. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Nah, Chang taking game one. Yep. Yeah. Showing us the power of that Sabat, as well as the advantages Nash has in this matchup. That is that definitely be... something that I think Final Blast probably could have taken more advantage of in his set. Yeah, absolutely. Was that Sabat? We're actually seeing it now that it can be pretty oppressive, and being able to combo oh, after it helps a lot. Fight. 
Shirt's off. Yeah, that's the thing with Guile is, even if you're winning with a significant light lead, you always have this pressure on you, like, you have to do something. Yeah. Because he's happy to play his own game regardless of life differentials. Um, but any character that can avoid that really does well against Guile. That was an unusually quick round for a Guile player. Yeah. Not, not so much for Space Ghost, but... I like this change in tempo. Wow! But yeah, Space Ghost is very accustomed to playing aggressively with Guile, and that's what you have to do in matchups like this, where you can't dictate the pace as well as you can against other characters. You go balls to the wall. Just goes trapping Kachang early. Nice jump in. A little okay. bit too far for the rest. Those booms should not be plus. At least not to my knowledge of how they work now. Nice oh, escape from Kachang. I wonder if he can do more with this corner then. Oh, you close. could have punished that. You yeah. could have punished that on the ground for sure. After block. Very close and hit him in the head, definitely. The one thing about that Vera Vessel early on, he's not going to get it back. Ooh. Clean round for both yeah. players, actually, so far. Yeah, uh, Kacheng just really got locked down in that, that game. Um, in general, didn't really get to do anything that he was doing in the first game. How does a zombie keep his physical... like, physique up? <laughs> I don't know. How wouldn't your muscle he... just, like... <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't your muscle just deteriorate as soon as you're... How does he maintain such white teeth despite having no lips to cover them? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Teach me them secrets. Nice intro. Yeah. yeah, you know when you see that jab that that's coming. Wow, three jabs. Ouch. Uh oh. Ooh. Well, that B-School 2 does great work when it comes to conversions like that. And I can see why Xavier likes it. Yeah. Space Ghost definitely in a lot more control. I feel like he's worked some things out. A lot more confidence. A lot more things going his way. I think a Chang's forced to be a little bit more active than he actually wants to be. That might be the problem. Oh, just a little bit late in taking his turn. Oh, big trade. Gary. Ooh. Oh, great. Too far to super. Uh oh. Oh, you did not want to get hit here when you had such a big lead. I would have taken a million throws. <laughs> I would have taken a million throws. This is bad. Look at this. Look how much health you're losing now. And when you had such a huge life lead. He'll have a life lead in the corner. corner if he caches it. Yeah. I think he is. Yeah. My god, it keeps going! Oh! Saving? Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> the biggest mistake. You should not have got hit there. You take a hundred throws. I'm trying to think. If I'm in Kachang's head there, Guile right? Wins. You're watching. You're watching yourself get guile looped. You, you have all this time to think. What's? What am I defending with? As soon as I get back up, but yeah. I actually have the chance to. Well, so I'm yeah. wondering, like, how many options went through his head before he decided, I'm gonna try and beast ship, and it ended up being the wrong one anyway. Yeah. The main <laughs> thing you've got to see is that he can kill me with a super, but he can't kill me with a throw. <laughs> so maybe I'll consider taking a throw. I think he had a lot of fun doing that guy loop in competition. Good work yeah, by Space Ghost. Never really gets old, does it? We've been seeing him since like season no. two. Season two, yeah. I think it was Chris G was the first time I saw someone do it. Yeah, they were a I bit different like, then though. They changed, yeah, it's definitely, but... definitely different. A lot easier in the first seasons. Now it's gotten super, super difficult. Yeah. But we are looking to have our winner's final now, if I'm not mistaken, which will be a first to three. Every set from now on will be first to three. That is correct. So it's going to be Rumors and Somniac, Space Ghost and Shenkan to make up your top four.
just waiting on Somniac. This matchup, classic. I feel like Somniac and Rubus have had to face each other a lot lately. Yeah, I feel like they've become the new kind of, um, what would you even call it? It's like, the, it's like the premier it's like... rivalry of the region, really. Yeah. I'm... You know what I mean? It, you, there's been a couple, you know, there's been like... I'm trying to think of like what else do I put up there with that. Oh, well, they usually involve Somniac. It'll be yeah, like it Travis always, and Somniac yeah. or ROF and Somniac. I think ROF is up there at one stage, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it um... is a verse Somniac thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's always, yeah. Plot. Very happy to win his uh hmm. 5k. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what other ones there have been. BK and probably who who would BK's rivals be really? I feel like he's more of a If you're talking just Sydney, I think BK and Rumors are probably Yeah, that's one. That's that a good one. Oh, I remember that being the at OHM when BK and Rumors met in grand finals, which Rumors took narrowly. Yeah. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons Rumors has been chasing. He's been chasing like a major event every single year so far. So 2019, yeah. 2020, obviously won CPT last year. Looking for something this year. Hopefully to get that cup, cup again. Yeah, we'll see. Two weeks, uh, just about from now, will be the Capcom Cup online. I guess we're waiting for something. Yeah, we could do that announcement. If you, uh, hopefully someone can post it in chat as well. But CPT Australia. You can sign up. Registrations are open. It's going to be on August 7th and 8th. So please make sure you register for that. I'm actually going to play for the first time in ages. I haven't played in proper competition in a long time. Really? Yeah. With you. Yeah, I'm helping to run that one, actually. Like last time. Run. I helped run the, the one last time as well. Yeah, Terrence, like, it's a little bit unfortunate that New Zealand couldn't join us. Again? This one. Yeah, again. I think we really were hoping that it would be a little bit different, but... Last time, Ghost was in the last one. Yeah, that's because he flew to Sydney to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember. You can't really do that now, can you? No, <laughs> fortunately not. Especially with what happened yesterday. Mm. We won't go into it. We're not a political show. Hmm, no. Ooh. Oh, the Ed pick. I do not like this matchup as Ed. Desk Would you go 1-1 one, one as well? One. I'm not even sure about that. Fight. Yes. Actually, the... you can go either or for V skills. Um, okay. It depends how much of a problem you think the tornadoes are going to be, but... Oh, oh wow. that was not... That was a good way to do that. Wow. <laughs> we were just trying to send this end back from where it's supposed to come. Yeah. But V-Trigger 1 is, I'd say, the way in pretty much every matchup. Okay. The only ones where you might consider 2 is if you want to do a lot of V-Reversals. And even then, you can still use 1 for that. Yeah, this is uh, it's not like a terrible matchup for Ed, but I don't like it. I'd give it to Cody overall. Just wondering if Somniac wants to keep some difference in oh. Was that Carl? Uh, actually, I think he oh, was with it. Maybe. That wasn't, though. Well, I think not like it hit by that. Of an experience with the character. Uh oh. Win his side. Ouch, ouch. I could also just see Unger just being a time for them to practice with at least before CP2, so... Yeah. If you did want to practice something, this is a good place to try and trial it out. Oop. Nice, air to air. Oh, oh is, is he dead? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, shit! Is, uh, I was like, I'm myself when I said that. <laughs> yeah. Cody wins. Wow. That magic jump. Interesting first game for Rumors. Round one. Fight. Ouch. 
nice conversion. Yeah, definitely too hard for a It's three frame, very finicky for comboing. Nice, nice. good corner. Good neutral jump, I like that. But also very good response to this as well. I like the whole position rooms is doing this so far. Somniac. Great conversions, knowing his spacing, that's the main thing you need to be good at with Ed, is you have to... You have to understand where you're standing when one of your button hits, and know what follow-up will reach and what won't. Because there's very small spacing differences that will have very big consequences if you do it wrong. Oh, that was oh, not a good trade. Yeah. Oh, that damage. That rocked it a ton. Ow. Round two. Interesting. with three rounds so far. Oh my god, he's just been interrupting. Stab medium kick is so oppressive. And again. Now he's in oh. super range as well. Yep. He has to be careful. That is so Song. dangerous. Attempt the mix up. Yeah, okay, keep going. Oh, it's all oh, blinked. He could have shifted there, but it wouldn't have killed, obviously. Um, one good really combo can kill here. You can tell yeah. super though. Oh, that should be able. Oh, maybe he could have killed, but I don't think so. I think, yeah. Hard to say what Final range round. you could have got at that range, but it was. Do up kicks in the EX and the EX when you hit the ground, something like that. Up kicks could have whipped. Um, oh, I see. Which yeah. he would have lost if it did. It might not have, but it was so close was to the range yeah. and whipping that I, I think the smart thing was to do what he did. Yes. Yeah. Remus has definitely found his button in this matchup. Its name is setting mini kicks. Ooh. Nice CC. Nice. Oh, he's looking to reversal it. It's not going to help him though. Both have to wait it out. Balls and Soms caught. Nice. I wonder if you've got to go up more than one, two, three, but. That's a little far away. Ooh. 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 If you do, if you can hit one, two, three, you can hit the XDP, which will give you more damage and, and really good Oki mm. as well. It's like a Oki that covers both rises and gives you a lot of corner carry. So. Maybe someone's just a little unsure about the, uh, about the hit confirming there. Yeah. Let's take I mean, I don't do it myself, but that's because I played it for so long where that wasn't an option that it kind of burnt into me that, to do the hands. Uh -oh. No, <gasps> no punish. Point. He meant to do hands there. Meant to be jabbing to hands. So. Good hands, yeah. Well, that's outside that same medium kick. Nice. Oh, no. nice. See, there it is. Song. Double death. He's gonna hit it back, but he's gonna. Oh, I don't oh, know. That I trade almost that trade. didn't. Yeah. Well, then again, it did get him out of a big, big mix situation where he could would have been dead anyway. So. Oh, that anti edge just nice. didn't. He was almost too ready. Just did it a tad early, I think. Oh, yeah. And so thankfully Song chose a shallow button that was also somewhat delayed, so it kind of held him up over it a bit. I don't know how intentional that was, but it definitely looked down to all this is big. Oh, into the corner. Huge damage. Both these characters are capable of big damage, given the opportunity. I love the way that Song's been using his EXDV so far. It's mainly to stopping momentum swings from rumors. Not really desperation as you'd probably expect from most head players, or what they're stereotypically known for, anyway. Yeah. Oh, good choice by there by Rumors. Taken.
in that round. The final round. Fight. Nice. nice. Finally in range. I think he's been looking for that for a while. Yep. Nice. He'd be annoying like a little mosquito. In a way. Really doing a good job of that. Like this. That's why I think it's skill one right there. Get the hard knockdown Oki and the great Ooh. BB to build. Great jumps. Finally baiting well. And the damage. Get it all. Still pretty yeah. even though. Wants Ooh. to get out of the corner here, but get him away. Very good. Pull him. Oh, I don't know what he was going for there, but he mm. could have pulled him back into the corner and then held the corner there. That's what I would have done. I'm would have been off the whole damage as well. So it's I don't think he like can throw he... fireballs with CA on deck. And he has to be careful about getting clipped by that Sam Eagles as well. Yeah. These are okay though, they're a little bit far away. That, that vacuum can pull you in a long distance. Oh, oh okay. Him, uh, not dead, but it's gonna hurt. I like the way he dodged that stand heavy punch. Oh, uh, no jump. OK either, but... Oh! That's, <laughs> that's OK in its own way, I suppose. He hesitated there on what to do. Ed wins. I think Rumor saw something, but he didn't quite know how he wanted to respond to it. Yeah. He, yeah, the delayed response is what got him there. It's kind of... It's the same as when you see, like, the... the Big psycho knuckle charging up, or like mm. an Abigail doing a yeah. big charge up attack. You Even kind just of a character, hesitate. if you see a character doing oh, an overhead, you're like, Oh, I'm gonna block it, but I might right. do something else. And it's kind of like, yeah, you're caught yeah. in between. Yeah, I'm not sure. Somniac 2 1 up, making this Ed pick work really well. Well, why you Possibly combo medium big ruffian in there. Nice. It's time to take the advantage back. Oh, it's gotta be careful. Room is with corner. I don't like that sway. This is very good as well, set up for me. Love the oh, he one trap, nice. Overhead. He got up full combo there, potentially killed, but we'll see if it costs him. Oh, oh dash. no. Again, could have killed there, but just a bit off on the execution. Both of them are one touch now. Room is looking for, as you can see. That crouch heavy punch into EX Ruffian. Oh, oh that could have been it. Scary. Possibly should have been it. Black swing that would have been nice. Gets the plus! Yeah. Som um, maybe thinking he could have walked away, but not quite. Long round again. Rumors. Ouch. Big event in here. Ooh. Double dash, okay. There you see again, Somniac just for breaking that momentum with EXDP. Oh, this is not good. Oh, nice meaty. And again, not quite. But one to go. Massive advantage here. This is will be a comeback to the ages if it happens. Yeah, smart. Nullified the comeback mechanic and close it down. Cody wins. Is there any way around that for Ed? People with Eero Best and the V trigger or does it, it just depend what you activate off? Yeah, and like what their V reversal is like if they fall back into it, and oh, there's a lot of different factors. Okay. Um, Round you'll, one. You, you'll pretty much always get hit by the V reversal, but sometimes you can. The ball will still. Right, you can still pick coverage. it up for the mix up. Yeah. yeah. It's, it depends on a lot of things. With that, Rumors able to even up this winner's final. Down to one game now. Again, that stair medium kick seems to be a very key part of his game plan in this matchup. Yeah, doing a lot of work. Oh, ow. I 
I think Som has only missed one EXDP. I think every other one has been hit correctly on target. Not quite the cross up that he wanted. Dangerous. <laughs> Want to do a bit of juggling. Ooh, try to chase down that certain heavy kick. If somebody I get to activate, I think it's going to be really difficult. It's because it's going to waste Rumus' time. Nice pickup. Oh, chase the back jump as well. Trying to keep himself safe. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. I see what he's going for, but Rumus, that was superbly played. I love that neutral jump. Not quite in range for the jab. That's alright. Sounds like we be dangerous without whiffing all these right after taking his turn. Nice Ooh. EXDP though. I love that. I've I've done that before, yeah. With the big button into massive all the yeah. punches. Yeah. <laughs> That's what feels good. Ooh, nice. Yep, take the Yoki there. Yeah, there you go. Could have spent the EX there and got an even bigger combo with more corner carry, but that's okay. Can you get a trade? Need a four, yeah, where it can be very useful. Close out. Ooh, I wouldn't have done that, but... Rumors doesn't have a lot of resources to work with. Even less so now. You can maybe try and punt oh. something into V-Skill. Oh. That was so big. That equalized this round so much. He could potentially close out the set. Oh, he oh, went for the anti air. Ambitious. Ambitious. Final round. Fight. It was a fancy decision, but I don't know if it was the right one to look for in that spot. Easy to say that in hindsight, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think the attempt is it's good. Um, I thought it was brave. Yeah. Because I still don't think it would have won in the round, even if we did connect. No, uh -oh. you're right. Big damage. Wow. Oh, oh yo, big, yep. big shimmy. No, no I was gonna go. Very nice. Very nice. Somniac has been on point with those EXDPs, but it failed him right when it mattered at the end. Yeah. And rumors. will shuffle through to grand finals now. Oh, I really like the ad. Win inside. I remember there was a lot of hubbub. This was probably before the season started, and then I remember a few people talking about can Somniac actually play another character that isn't Bison, and I think that was big. Over, over the months, it's been proven like definitively wrong. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I would have to agree with you there. I mean, I thought he always had a pretty good Nikali as well back in the early stages of the game. So. I do remember seeing that like very early on, but yeah, I, I don't know if it's just the association you have with. A person if they've just played one character for so long you don't really believe that they can actually do it with yeah. anyone else especially if they're not known as a character specialist yeah well it's also because it's bison as well because the thing with bison is there's a lot of he he, he plays in a way that is not very transferable to a right not a lot of crossover character yeah. yeah it's not as extreme as say dalsim or manat but it's up there with like kind of like a kind of Zangief kind of level of transferable skills mm. where you, you're you going to have to like he doesn't have to learn a lot because I, he's been playing fighting games forever all sorts of characters but if you start with Bison when you it do pick up another character you're going to have to learn a lot of new things you don't have experience doing yourself kind of thing. I think one thing that Somniac definitely has is experience on how you approach your process. So, yeah, absolutely. Because he's been playing fighting games for so long, just the idea of being able to pick up a new character, it's a very easy one, two, three step for him that maybe someone else less experienced. Yeah. yeah. Round one. Oh. Right. To think I complimented him on his <laughs> he had the screen. earlier today. He went from the best to the worst. It's pretty funny. Yeah, this is... Like, I kind of like this one in a sense, but only because it's bad. Not for any positive reason. I don't know what I hate more. Is it the hair or is it the eyebrows that really stick out? It's definitely the face. 
this costume could work if the face. If he had his like well. story haircut. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Far reaching from Space Ghost. Space Ghost is too unfamiliar with Ken. There's a few Kens in Sydney, but he has the first, and he actually did try and play Ken a little bit, especially in Season 1. So it's not something that you're unfamiliar with. Nice. I don't think he should spend. He probably needs one more still. Yeah. Oh, nice with the low. Yeah. It was good as he did not spend. Oh, had to spend. Even if he did spend and didn't kill, he still would have got the Gyoki, but he was getting the Gyoki anyway. And this yeah. way... He keeps the meter going into the next game. He, he needed one more situation out of the way. So. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I think it was a smart wet place. Oh, nice. 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 Quicker on the draw there. <laughs> well, it actually Ooh. seems like Space Ghost got a little bored there. Uh oh! Oh, that's the attempt. I've only seen Panda really do that consistently. I haven't really seen that many other players that can do DP through Fireball. Yeah, it's hard. Nice, good Jash. Probably could have spammed the CA, possibly. Still in a good position. Again. Something very difficult that you have with Ken VT2. It is very good, but it's it's hard to make a comeback with because you you need to give an opening to get it. And if you're not getting the opening, then it's very difficult because you're kind of sitting on that meter doing nothing with it. Yeah. At, at least with VT1, you can sort of dial a mix up on block anyway, but yeah, it's a lot harder to do that with VT2. Yeah. Uh, the way oh, Shen plays as well, it's um, right. it's very much. Playing into the preferred way, the way Guy wants you to play, essentially, when he's playing like this. And it's, um, not to say it can't be won, but the advantage definitely goes to Guy when it's just played like this, so it's an uphill battle. Ice Ghost is a comfortable spot, definitely. Yeah. This kind of thing, what we're seeing right now, this is, this is what Guy wants, and it's how Shen wants to play as well, but like I said, uphill battle. It could be one, but it's not going to be as easy for you as it is for That was big. Good block. Overhead. That's Should what I was talking about way earlier in the day. Ken can just get one good sequence on you, and all of a sudden, you're in the corner and you're just dead. And it's like, whoa. And he's always been able to do that, um, even when he's been really bad. Space Ghost, fighting from the corner early. Nice dash! Oh, that's big. Corner. Cool. Far reaching. I love the way that Space Ghost is using these normals. He's even up at this point. Oh! Shen almost climbing in. With that forward heavy kick. Almost it. Shen. He just needs a V trigger. Uh oh. This is death. Space Ghost is gonna get it instead. Surely you spend. Yeah. Yep. Ba -ba 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 it's just a matter of time before one of them found that hit. Space Ghost. He's able to clutch it up first. That's not the advantage at the moment though. Slight life loss, but well it's getting bigger now, but way big meter advantage. I'm not sure if there's a lot of things Ken wants to spend EX meter on in neutral anyway, besides maybe EX touches up this, but Nice. Nice, good shimmy. One hit from death. 
Space Ghost gotta be really careful. Nah. Oh, that's it. Just took a step too far. Like that. Ken wins up like what? No, like three little sequences right there. Mm -hmm. Great damage Ken if you wins. let him do it. Ken Khan seems very confident that he can find those three sequences, as you say. It's not entirely difficult for him. Yeah. Round one. Fight! Space Coast, we showed off. It's Punko style now. Mm -hmm. Got over that beam. Oh, almost took a jump. Ooh. Oh! That was a bit of a panda. Very much there. That's high. That. Nice punish. He knows, yeah. He is, of course, a guile player as well. Mesco's did a really good job of getting away from the corner. I want to say he's one of the best at it. Actually, nice! There you go. Good reaction. Spends it all in one go. It's perfectly fine. It's so worth it. Wow. Cool. Tried to run to seal the turn. Space guys can get a lot on the next hit if you get in the trigger. No! Wow. Good counter hit. That reached. Combo. He needed to confirm that counter hit so he could go into the only button that reaches, which is the medium punch for that range. Great awareness from Shen. I really quite believe in that. I will punish. A little bit late on that with punish. What the? Oh my god, these normals. Shen's found his place. He's gained a lot of straight hits that have really worked. There yeah, I, I was thinking that. I was like, he plays Zeku. He's probably going for Crash Mini Punch and Super. That was just like suffocating. Like any poke, like Space Ghost was trying to poke a lot then and every single one was being counter poked. He was, yeah, stuff. he was getting like, hit first, yeah. That, that was just like a, that hurt. It's funny that in situations like that, all you want to do is press more to try and yeah. actually win that hit back, and it makes it worse and worse. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Shen taking the lead Round in the set. One, one more Fight. from eliminating Space Ghost from this round of competition. Hold him before the V skill. I wonder if he could have maybe tagged something on that floor deadly punch. Nice! Oh, cool. Stood off a tad early. Nice! Saving it. Spends it short this time. He'll definitely get on the next one now. And he also stops Space Ghost from chucking fireballs back at him. See now Space Ghost trying to use normals to get in because he knows he can't zone. Yep, and he had to do something there because Super Chip was on the table. Round so. two. Very well played by Shen 10 man. That's great decision making towards the end of that round. Wow! Well, I thought that was going to be a cross up too. It looked like Space Ghost tried to walk under to block the cross up. Just got hit in front. Oh, almost. The whiff knee was dangerous. Oh, nice, bitch. good check. Really needed that. He did, yeah. Nice. Nice. Zirin resources definitely still in uh -oh. the uh -oh. Yep. Got caught reaching. He's going to spend all the trigger. Oh, he's doing it. One gets away, low. gets the Oki. It's gonna be a Surely wake up low from GG's. <laughs> yeah, I told you. I told you. I told you it's the tray. Oh. oh! Big. Such a great pause there. 
think Shenless Fana bait space goes into another throw whiff. Fight. Didn't quite happen. Fight. Very clutch from Xavier. Yep, keep yourself alive with full meter as well, so. He just needs an opportunity to try and spend it early. Great back track. Nice! Oh, that was dirty, I like it. I love doing that late in the set. Momentum swing, doesn't quite get the counter hit. Good save though with the X Fireball. Shen on the advantage early. Little whiff. Oh, that could be. Shen just needs one V trigger hit. I'd be so scared to do these fireballs so close. Yeah. It's a one button reaction. Oh, that's it! Yeah, that's definitely it. Get back. Shen. Trying to take it over Space Ghost. He'll be out in fourth place today. Ken wins. Ooh, very well done by Shen. Very close set. Very slow set, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's go time. Really good spot. <laughs> Miflop is sitting on so much gold at the moment. Hmm. It's kind of ridiculous. And yeah, Shen will be fighting that Somnia in the old... Loses final. These guys always have some very classic matches when it comes to stream. I think Absolutely. last year's CPT is probably the one that sticks out in my mind the most. Where yeah, Shen sniped in one. with the run. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> probably one of my favorite moments from that competition. Yeah, that was great. So look, that'd be so funny if it was like a bison mirror. <laughs> Oh boy. You'd I hate mean, to see it. That'd it be before. funny. Really? He has done it, yeah. I don't think so. I think yeah. Yeah. And it. Can it. Okay. So I'm going with swing. I'm guessing to get around fireballs for my next lens. Mm -hmm. Round one. Fight. Still in the band costume. Well done. <laughs> I wonder if Shen. If, I wonder if that's why Shen's gonna stop. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, you got second place. Uh, uh, yeah, they're talking about now in competition. <laughs> That's right. Shane gets to know. What well, gets to happen? Ooh. What a combo. I mean, we can commentate it, Derek, if you want. Just the, uh, <laughs> gonna be a sweet 1 0 for Shenka. We can really unpoint here with the WP before it happens. Guys are missing out on some high octane Street Fighter 5. If you have to kill someone, why would you use the least damaging move in the game? <laughs> Obviously, we're trying to get through it quickly. <laughs> Ken wins. Okay, we're gonna get ourselves restarted here. I don't. Is someone gonna get like a round loss or something like that? Or are they just gonna start again? I'm gonna let him off the hook for this one time. I'm unsure. It's go time. We know what match we're gonna see at least. Ken versus Ed. It is gonna be 0 0. Okay. Shen's being a nice guy. Or a bad TO, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> What's Ken vs. Ed like, normally? Mm, I don't like it, but it's probably not as bad as I feel that it is. I'd say it's, it's definitely better for Ken, but by how much... Um, 
Oh my god, he's got the glitter costume on. Round one. It's, it's, you know. Fight. I feel like the better play is usually just gonna win, I think. That's the thing I can say about it. Not even, but you, if you're gonna win, you're gonna win. Oh, that hurts. Nice punish. Delay maybe. Ooh. A little bit far. Yeah, I don't think you do so much there. Uh oh. Chen really loves using delay meeting more than anyone else in Australia, I see. Especially as their first response. Oh. Oh yeah, the fireball does not clash when it should have, but it's just a sad thing. Oh, nice. Oh, nice activate. Gets the extra damage there as well, but... Is that what the crouching meaning kick is for? That's interesting. It's, I think it's more so, you can do like a... Off the time. ...kind of setup. Oh, yeah. okay. Some. You can still seal with CA, this isn't too bad. Time is breaking down though. Oh, that's it! Yeah. Trickling down. Round two. Fight. Ooh. Gets right out of the delay. God, I hate that same heavy punch. It's so annoying. Out. Nice. Out. 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 Little stagger. Shen not pressing on the wake up too much. Back in. Right back in. Ooh, nice. Again, as we saw in winners final, some using that EXDP more for momentum swing than anything else. Yep. There we go. Example of. Careful. Shen. He's taking a little bit more risk than he wants to. Nice! Oh, you see that fireball should have clashed there, but there's like this weird dead zone between the spark and the fireball coming out where for some reason. Yeah, that's interesting. Nothing happens. It, it happens all the time. It's just like a. Who knows? Is it a bug or a feature? I don't know. It's a feature. Okay. We see it as worse properly, but yeah, it's. Made in early. I'm trying to get away from it. I don't know if that made yeah. it worse, actually, though. He won't get behind it again. No. So maybe it was okay. Oh. Oh, that back in firm. Some with a full advantage. Have to be careful, though. It is a winnable round for Ken. Uh, super on deck. He. Won't kill for super combo, but if you can yeah, just he'll get definitely a need, tiny he'll definitely one. need two. Not gonna happen. Some buzzing around like a fly. Ed wins. Um, give me one quick moment. Ooh, I don't like the white hair on this costume. It's really weird. Hello. Hello. Hi. Round one. Yeah, fine. Fight. Okay. Didn't expect that. Not as good. We should have just gone for the run, but Chen just has to break his way out very slowly. Oh, give him the space. Didn't quite punish that forward. Heading heavy kick at me. I think Shen might be trying to bait Slumber to that B skill. Not quite finding it. Nice, this time. 
That's the correct spacing. There it is again. We saw that round one. Not going to happen this time. Great switch up. Now oh. some kind of think twice about doing that. Uh oh. Oh, big. Pull him into the corner. No, he goes for the weird setup again. I don't know what he's going for there, but... I think it's it's a setup where if they back rise, it kind of mixes them up, and then you kind of go in front, but you're not supposed to, but... Just... I think he should have taken the damage and pulled him into the corner. Although, Super Chip was always in back, so it's a scary place to be. I guess he wanted the... I guess he wanted the mix-up more than he wanted the... Spacing the guarantee. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hell is there. You might as well, if you are planning to win this round, we go on to the next one. There's a lot of resources for Shen, though. At the very least, it felt like it evened it up, but it didn't give him any sort of advantage, so he still has to fight his way in this. Oh, that was. Yeah, got rid of it all together. Oh, big jump! One more. Okay. Oh. That didn't catch. That's it. Can hit confirm again. Chen ties it up. Ken wins. Hmm. <laughs> Don't let him hear you say that. Whoever's on the official account today. It's go time. Oh, back to character select. I think the Ed's doing okay, but I don't think it's... Um, it feels like he's playing even when he could be ahead. If you know what I mean. Yep. Yeah, I get you. Like, it, it, it's kind of like he's handicapping himself a little bit. Like, he absolutely could do this with Ken. Uh, with uh, Ed, that's sorry. Do it doesn't really feel like he needs to. Yeah, I, I would have to agree. I think Bison does just fine against Ken. I think it's a lot better matchup than it is for Ed. Oh, that's why we were going back. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So Somniac only switching out his V skill. And Shen apparently doing the same as he gave him the opportunity to. Nothing in the rules say you can't do that. It's the same character, but. God, I hate this costume. Nice. Optimal combo there. He's on the space. He's very well done. I'm guessing the reason Somniac wanted the V-Skill change is he didn't feel like he was getting the value out of V-Skill 2 against the fireballs, but at the same time, this change actually gives Shen, I think, a better trigger anyway. Uh oh Attacks on the end. Somniac with work to do. Uh oh Big whiff. I like that he chose this color as well. This is the memeiest color of the three. So I'm just pulling out of range. Wow! Just raw! You get momentum started. Another dash up. No. Oh, really? <laughs> no. That's the old, yeah. I've done that. What is that supposed to be? V reversal? Eh. Because you're plus anyway. Harder than anything. Any anything other than just blocking and doing nothing. <laughs> oh, blocks the overhead at least. Can't get much off it. Oh. Oh, nice. Just a jab, matey. Shen ending that game very quickly. Ken wins. I do think VT1 helps Shen out a lot here. Round one. Yeah. 
Yeah, either or. Right. Although I think VT2 is very good against Ed. Really, really good. Good players just holding the position on the screen. Nice. Oh, that Pick up. Okay. I'm never sure exactly what the requirements are to get the first hit of heavy kick Tatsu to miss. So I can go in the rest of them. Yeah, me neither. My push from Somniac. I think I'm barely gonna get that. Yeah. Such a big recovery. Unfortunately, that Shen looking for a crush counter by the look of it. And again, nice check. Oh, oh no! That should have worked, but he just did a bit of execution error there. Unfortunately. Hard luck for Somniac. He could have actually just done hands into Super and would have killed as well. It does seem like, even though Ed's gotten better over seasons, he still has a few quality of life issues. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he always will. But... That's what you sign up for, I guess. Nice spacing. Yeah. That is a button you cannot use against men. He punches it at every range. And those are usually Ed's bad matchups. Anyone can make him do that, he's a bad yes, Most shadows, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh! Son, trying to get some momentum. It's very slow. At the very least, he's got positioning. Wow, chase that neutral jump. Oh, almost. I don't think he needed to go for the jump, Tatsu. Cross up would have been fine. Chen turning the tempo up. Did nothing for him. Nice. Oh, throws him out. Som's dead on the next hit. He needs something special to keep himself in the competition. That crouching medium kick looks so dangerous. Ooh, that was scary. Oh, this spend means chip. Oh, well, Hurts you a lot. Nah, it's over. It's over. Outlasted, Shen and Shen Khan will go through into the grand finals. Yeah, this seems to be his season from what I hear. He's doing extremely well. So he'd be at the top of the ranked leaderboards, right? He's currently seated one, yeah. So. Yeah. It's go time. There it is, Shen Khan coming up from losers. Got to go into grand finals. Before we go into grand finals, just a reminder of the announcements that we made earlier today. Uh, next week, next Sunday at 2 p.m. will be the Strive Tournament. It will be our second doing the monthly. Full Guilty Gear Strive, $50 Steam voucher up for grabs for that one. So be sure to register for that competition. Also upcoming in August will be Baxter's Brawl. That's an open competition as well. And there's a nice prize pool associated with that because of some nice donations that they've been able to get. So go support them on Twitter, more information in the Unger Discord. As we're about to head into our Grand Finals. Woohoo! Shen Khan coming from the loser side. Uh, this is technically a run back, but Shen was using Bison, so I don't know how much of a game it really was. Well, it wasn't a game. He got fucking squashed. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. I'm, I'm expecting, expecting this to be a little Ken. closer. Yeah. Comes what character? <laughs> drum roll. That's really bad drum roll, but. <laughs> Whoa! Omda. Okay. Omda. The Ken was what I expected with the Honda. I know he has been playing some Honda for a while now. trialing new things. Yeah, you're in my side. You got a whole set to play with. Why not? 
But I do know from Honda is he normally doesn't do too well against Fireball characters, but I don't think Ken would be included in that category, so maybe it's okay. Or at least a lot more even. That's very least. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what we react to. Nice spacing. Nice spacing trap there. Tried it again. Not this time. Shen getting the CC. Just a little delay on the low to catch the walk back as well. I don't know if Rumors knows how to do the cross up heavy punch headbutt. It is a little wonky to do. Good block. Nice. And again. Quite oppressive. That was good though. To the corner, yes, time. Oh! Nice. Good pick up! Nice meaty on the low. Round two. Chen Khan scraping by on pixel health to take the first round. Oh, could have punished that, but it's not ready. Man, Rumors is about to push. Shen to the corner just with light punch hands alone. So difficult. Oh, Chased. Yeah. Oh boy. And again. Again, Shen was in this prop from before. That's a little delay throw. Oh, trapped himself. Ouch. This is not the best. Done. Nope. Quite sure what he was looking for. I don't know if it was in range for a punish to stand like it. It can be a little wonky punishing some of Honda's headbutts, even though the frames would tell you you could. Yeah. Room is funny, nice spacing. Does Honda get. V meter just from doing the clap by itself. Or does he actually have to clap something? I feel like he has to clap something. I could be wrong, but I'm decently certain. God, the space is good. Yeah, he has to clap. According to the number. I don't know oh, have boy. to be I don't know if it has to be butt cheeks exactly. <laughs> I, I'll trust him on that. Oh big whip! Chen. Oh, Only problem is he hasn't got the uh, B trigger. There, he's found it. Guess he'll activate it himself. Just needs one hit. Oh, nice! No super! I think he missed the input! He Unfortunate. <laughs> you have to be really quick. Has to be like the first hit of the headbutt. Now Rumors is in trouble. Actually, no, Chen's in trouble. We're getting. Chip, is that gonna be enough? No, it's not enough! Oh, oh he, he missed his super super as well! Why? Yeah, you can do it anyway, it's fine! It's fine, we fixed it. We fixed it. <laughs> a little sloppy from both. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Can a win. little bit sloppy from both. You know, I know I know Meplop and Millie are the two that are Twitter clipping today, so. I know we only show good things, but that's that's pretty funny if you wanna add that as well. Just saying. Just saying. Round one. There was something else, I'll say that. Fight! It's also be Honda's strength to be able to push characters into the corner like this. Ooh! Maybe neutral jump hands? Oh, that would have been bad! Ooh, good punish. No, you missed the link. Ooh, that's an odd way to steal a turn. Worked out well, though. Nice. Good reaction there. Fight into the low. Has trigger as well. He just waited. Get it on hit, activate. It's not going to happen. Round 
God damn it, Millie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just read that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Room is a game with a corner push. Other side, yeah, smart. Bye. Oh, I want to say you can stand light kick it, but it may just be a spacing trap. That's what I'm afraid of. Maybe that's what Shen's thinking as well. He'll get that though. Ooh, big. I don't think it'll kill with super, even with the double headbutt. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not going to I'm so wrong. I'm so wrong. I feel like... I'm so wrong. Okay. Big scaling. Okay. Yep. Slightly delayed into it as well. Doesn't want to do it straight away. Room is 1-1. Possibly should have been 2-1. 2-0, I should say. Yeah, you can say that. It's Honda, very simple, I'd say. No use of the uh, V skill, too. Um, but one. effective. I mean, the Honda's Fight. like that kind of character, really, in my opinion. And I'm, I'm not a Honda hater. I no. actually like watching this character a lot, so. I know a lot of people hate it. But... I wonder if it's a question you have to ask yourself a couple of times if you. How much effort do you put into your alternative character? Is it yeah. just for those match shots, or is it. How do you just need it to be good enough to make it work? Which is kind of what this looks like. Obviously, it's not it's not as much as a Honda main, but it does the job fine. Chen, nice. Yeah. Says plus. Oh, big. Gary. Big push by Chen. Just watching his toes. Are we looking for something to whiff? That's a bit it. That'll hit him. That's a bigger danger. Oh! There you go. Had the armor for that anyway, even if he does get a hit in. Oh, that was ambiguous. He could have punished that, I think. I think that yeah. was punished. Well, then on the other side, wasn't he? I want to say there's six or seven. That's a lot. That clap is not something we've seen a lot of today. I feel like it's not a, even in fireball matchups, I don't think it's worth it. No, that's normally why Honda's considered a little bit weak versus fireballs, but... It doesn't really seem to have mattered that much. Could you go to CA there? Possibly. Yeah, I don't know how it works, but you think so, right? You might be only able to do it on the first couple of hits. So you have to be pretty quick. Oh! Way too far from the corner. Doesn't that was kind of... For the next game. Honda wins. Uh, we look at that swim it. I'm not sure what that context was of the conversation he's currently having. <laughs> <laughs> Does, do you reckon that actually means anything? Like, could swim it? Is that well, he's thing? talking to he's talking about himself in the third person. That's what I'm wondering as well. And we could swim it. Room is currently two one up. What if you guys were Bison against Honda? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I'm not sure what he's gonna do, to be honest. It's maybe. Well, if he like wanted to do it similarly, he could try something like Guile or Ryu, someone with a bit of a better fireball. Yeah. Ryu, especially, I think, might do pretty well against Honda, and. I I can believe that. I, yeah. I can I can see Shen having it in the pocket that he might want to try it. Rumors though, just one away. This is good practice in the run up for CPT. Absolutely. In fact, I think we only have one more Unger event. Oh, Zeku, Ooh, we're going straight. We're getting serious. We're going super serious now. <laughs> he wants to reset. Round one. We're really trying to force Yo. rumors off. Ouch. Oh, good idea. Yeah. 
Like I said, simple but effective this time though. Could have got the trade there. High on stun. One more. Oh. Try to look for the tick. He's still keeping it high by doing this. Necessary yep. V reversals for Shen Khan, but he's not going to have trigger at all this round now. Rim is happy to let go of that stun as well, considering the life. He's done enough damage, so it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Not close enough for the second. Oh, big whiff. Oh, that was interesting. That was right. slick. Caught the hand? That was big. Yeah, that was big. Round two. Rumors one away. Trying to put the Zeku down. Out. Nice. Oh, I think that's a genuine punish on the change, actually. Definitely a good thing to look for. Not in range. Definitely plus. And has to force him off. This is difficult. I love the use. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Yeah, finally breaking out of the corner. But that push is so much overhead for the mix up. Counter hit. Use EX Techie. Nope. What a fun plus. Oh, he grabbed him out of it. Yeah. Uh oh, 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 he's oh, dead, that's it! Right <laughs> the Zeku switch does not work out! Wow. Rubens that was, that was in through. Win. That was a shocking finish. I like, wasn't ready for the tournament to end just then. That was like, whoa! I think you and I had the same thought. I was like, yeah, Zeku will take like a game or two, maybe. Yeah. Maybe we'll have a reset. Maybe he'll switch character. Nah, it ends. That was what a fantastic started. finish. Great stuff. It's go nice work to Rumors. Taking first place today. Big congratulations to him. Well done to Shen Khan for taking second. And a big thank you to all of you for watching and hanging out with us this afternoon. Uh, just before you go, just a reminder of all the announcements we've had today. Number one, Guilty Gear Strive for Unger Down Under will be next Sunday at 2 p.m. Please join us here for that. Uh, I think Derek and probably Tom is going to be on the commentary desk again, so definitely be a good time. The week after that, there are two events on. One's going to be GG Strive with Baxter. Baxter's Bash. That has a $500 pool prize, the last one I saw, just from some generous donations from people in the community. Also, CPT Australia will be there. If you wished to enter that, there'll be some information in the Unger Discord or WP if you prefer. Uh, that'll be on the 7th of August as well. So a big thank you to everyone. Thank you to everyone behind the scenes. And we will definitely see you. I believe next Friday will be the next Unger event. I'll have to double check that. I wish I'm kind if I said it wrong. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, big thank you to Nez for joining me today. Yeah, it's happy to be here. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I know you don't normally get to be here on Sunday, so it's good to have you just back in general. Yeah, it's been and, a while. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, big thanks to all of you. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Ooh, we're going off to Pico. All right. Excellent.